was on YouTube and all the other shows are also posted on YouTube so you can go and listen and watch to your pleasure all right so of course on YouTube you go to Styles FM radio and you will see us myself and prestige daddy rude and myself and Shelly and prestige and Shelly and daddy rude yeah man all right and also, we want to acknowledge our friends in Brooklyn and Bronx. Radio broadcast styles, of course, broad broadcasts on the 91.3 FM in Brooklyn and 102.9 FM in the Bronx. Yeah, but you left us something. I did? Yes. What? Our Shelly and you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is hardly the case, uh, but yeah, Shelly yeah. and myself. Okay. okay. You know, you like, like the ladies, don't you? Me? Always. You oh, love the ladies. Love the ladies. You like, you love the ladies. I love the ladies. And guess what? The ladies, they just love your back. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we also want to um, acknowledge... Who did we leave out? We left out some people. I'm almost certain. Yeah. Oh, our friends were on the go. Yeah. So our on the go numbers for those who wish to listen in while you're moving, moving about. Yeah, the USA on the go number is 712-832-2772. And if you are in the United Kingdom, the number is 33 and in Canada, that number on the go is 647-957-9637. So there you have all our in-house matters being taken care of just about now. All right. So, uh, Prestige, good to have you on set tonight. Yes. How are you and feeling? It's a, and it's a pleasure. Yes. You're in an orange shirt. Is this orange? Or is it green? I don't think it's orange. Is what? They have another papaya? name for it. It's ah, papaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What you know about papaya? Look, 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 yeah. What you know about yeah, papaya look, color yeah. shirt? I don't. Yeah. What you know about yeah. color, color it's shirt? Papaya. You not color blind? No, it's papaya. What color am I wearing? Um, purple. Jesus Lord. <laughs> Is that purple? <laughs> I think it's pink. <laughs> eh? uh, it's pink and white, prestige. It's pink and white. I thought you weren't color blind. Oh, oh, oh! My glasses. I left my glasses. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, uh, oh, boy. Mm, yeah. So, give me one word to describe how you're feeling tonight. I'm feeling nice. That's not how you're feeling. I'm feeling mellow. <laughs> I mean, in that papaya shirt, mm. you must be quite mellow and, no, no, no. and rosy I'm and stuffy. juicy. I'm feeling stuffy. Feeling stuffy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you doing? My sinus is on me. How did your sinus tr get triggered? Because of... Be honest now. The heat. The heat? Yeah. Ooh. And then the AC. Which AC? Inside the studio. I wrote this morning. You just. That one stop. What the else track. were you doing? That you, one he's not being track. honest, ladies, but you know, we'll that find out. I'll find out off air for you, ladies. <laughs> I'll find out for you off air and yeah. tell you what Prestige was doing, why he's <laughs> all so stuffed up they're, right they're now. They're seeing what's going on, you know. <laughs> and they saw that pass. <laughs> You see your pass a while ago. <laughs> oh, well, apart from being stuffy, yeah. how has your week been? Oh, uh, okay, you know. A lot, you know what I mean? What's from the other day? Mm -hmm. I got a lot of rest. What you say? Yeah. You haven't been cooking? Wow. Ooh. Ooh. What was Axtale. the last thing you cooked? Axtale. No, man, this is serious now. You know how long I'm going to eat oxtail? Yeah, oxtail. You cook oxtail the last time you cooked stew pieces around your yard. Yeah. You don't offer me none. Yeah. Now you come and tell me you cook oxtail and I still yeah. not offer me none. That expensive meat. I cook oxtail. I'm going to tell you last me buy and, and cook. Oxtail. <laughs> and listen, last I'm, time I I'm bought it, I wasn't pleased. Yeah. Oxtail. It was tough. Some spinners. Oh right? my goodness. Some spinners. I mean, I'm spinners and big, you know. Small. Some spinners. Neat. Yeah. And um, um, carrot. Uh -huh. Put a pin in there too. Uh -huh. you know? But I mean, I make the carrot boil or soft, soft. Yeah, because it's not supposed to. Yes. You know, but me ask you, when it does a boom, and the boom, oh just come off of it. Oh my gosh! Like that. You see me, I say, uh. I mean, I do ask steel with oil, people. Uh huh. That no oil is something because it's already kind of it produces. Oh jeez, real thick, yeah. juicy. Yeah. I mean, I mm. deal with ask steel with white rice, people. Rice and peas. If I no rice and rice peas, rice and beans. I am a dumpling say. and banana. I prefer it rice and beans. Yes. If I no rice and peas, I am a dumpling and banana. I mean, so what did you have it with this time? Rice and peas. Yam, 
dumpling and soft uh, and some soft banana, right? My neighbor. With oxtail? Yeah, yeah. No, so that can nice. Yeah, my. I want, no, yeah, rice and peas with oxtail all the I know time. That me, me, too much of the rice rice thing all the time. Yes, so I say I come I cut you from the rice and peas thing and the rice this. Listen, my neighbor have a lot of banana trees. Mm-hmm. And one of the banana I'm over your yard. over my part. So I'm not your banana. Then I'm for banana. Then I'm for banana. I'm your, ne- your neighbor. Banana don't shed anything no, for I'm you to neighbor, clean up. I'm your neighbor. Banana, banana tree. sheds nothing for you to clean up. Yes. Prestige. Stop it. What? What, what it sheds, sir? All them things that we are dropping off. When like banana what? Open, when the banana no, open. That's not much thing. That's two because something drop off. I know two. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm telling you. <laughs> so, hold on. You capture the man's bananas because no, man. it hangs over your place? No, man. It's a, it's a, it's a she. Oh. Yeah, it's a she. So you capture her bananas? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't like it, but it's bad. And it, <laughs> it's Listeners, it you don't want to see, see you prestigious you face. <laughs> you don't want to see my co-host face you when I said see. you captured her you. bananas. Me just get you. I don't g- get yeah. what. I'm just well, asking. Me you, the man no, the woman's bananas. <laughs> yeah. Me have to tell you, it's a she. Okay, so you <laughs> captured her bananas. Banana, not the banana tree, you know. Just the which the banana? banana? Just the banana. Hangover. Or bananas. Sh- oh. The banana tree over. Yes. Right? So yeah. why you must thief the woman banana? Me not thief. Is what you do? Anything is on your property and hang over your property is yours. Nobody can come and claim it unless you cut down the whole tree. But you to her do. she cut down the whole tree, right? She have got a rope. How much of her, her banana was hanging on your property? <sighs> was it a half of it or uh, three quarters of it or just a quarter? A small portion was hanging over. How would they call it? Is that a bunch of banana? Yes. Yes. The whole bunch? Yes. I mean, just cut off. Cut off what? The, the whole bunch of cut just, off? No, I just cut off a hand. Every time I go cook, cut off a hand. Every an time I go cook? I cook. <laughs> cut off a hand. I mean, I can't cut down the whole bunch. I mean, I cut down the whole bunch. For. Well, you cut down the whole bunch eventually. No. It will go ripe up. So how many bunches are left on that hand? About six. That's the banana big? Yeah. What kind of banana is it? Fear banana? Yeah. Big, but the fear Cassie, one? No, we'll put banana left on it. Cassie, you're not getting none of it yet. Eh? You're not taking none, you're not taking none yet. No, Cassie is not that type of person. To, to thief the bananas? He's not going to thief. Cassie is not a thief. Oh, you're going to thief them though? I'm not thief. <laughs> it's mine. Just, okay. So yeah. why you not take any Cassidy? Cassidy not going to take like that. Cassie's not why that you person. haven't taken any of the banana ladies' he's bananas? Not like that. You don't eat bananas? Yes, but Cassie is not like that. Cassidy is <laughs> not going to just take things <laughs> that he's not given to him. Cassidy. He's not like that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you cook the bananas, you give him any? No. What I'm what I'm gonna do mm-hmm. tomorrow? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cut a, a aunt, Oh Lord, here he goes a again. Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy. Only five. Cassidy you wanna mix you up, you know? No mix up. He's mixing oh, you up oh, with the bananas. Up but... So Cassidy tells him what tells him what banana from. But the... my neighbor knows you have my banana. Oh she knows. Okay. Yes. All right, sir. So we live good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then if me I do all the cleaning up and they come over me, I do me do. Oh, okay. Well, 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 let's hear what let's hear what our listeners have to say. Good night, yeah. listener. Welcome to Real Talk. I was just pressing my co-host trigger a while ago. Oh, I was asking Prestige if it's a plant banana. If I'm me planting? Mm-hmm. Yes, Prestige. No, but I, it it has still not my clothes. <laughs> I know she buy me clothes, yeah. man. It has still not my the clothes. Man, I'm for fraud here. For what? <laughs> And I'm most about axe steel. You think I want to buy axe steel? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. If you are working, you can do the same thing too. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a nice Aussie, you can do that for you. As axe steel also. Yes. Oh, what was that, Carla? You can buy turkey neck and cook it as axe steel also. Carla, don't do turkey that to me. Turkey don't turkey do that to me, Carla, man. <laughs> 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 no, prestige of wallet, so we can do it thing too. Yeah, turkey neck. <laughs> I don't want no turkey neck for the oxtail. I'm sorry. We don't eat turkey neck. They look alike here. though. <laughs> they, they do look alike. <laughs> we don't eat turkey neck around here. No. If, yeah, I be. Mean, no. I don't eat if turkey neck. If we show off, it's too extra. When I eat turkey neck, me need chicken, me chicken back and chicken neck. Not That's turkey neck. Too extra. You're too extra. Awesome. <laughs> All yeah. right, Carla. Thanks for calling. I'm going to invite you over because I have half of a goat. I'm going to invite you over for you get some of my curry goat and my cookie. You don't let me come over more, more than goat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good night, Carla. I've, keep listening, Carla. Keep listening. I have liquor, too. I have liquor. You can get liquor. <laughs> Refreshment. That Carla is bad. 
bad. Oh my God. Can you handle that pressure? What? Prestige? What? Me you hear anything. that offer? Oh my goodness. Me I'm afraid. I, I always prepared. I'm. Man, you're chatting now. I said, man, I you always can't back up your talk, you know. I always prepare. Because you might very well know where you live. Eh? Eh? Nobody <laughs> know where you live. Nobody <laughs> know where you live. Nobody know where you live. Oh, Lord. Yeah. All right, so the next time you yeah. cook, and I'm going to threaten you. Yeah. The next time you cook the goat, when yeah. you cook the goat, yeah. you need to give me a ring. Yeah. The next time you cook oxtail, yeah. you need to give me a ring. Can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Yeah. I'm a cooker. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Yes. Look here. I'm gonna, listen, what, what me I'm no gonna want you to give me no. It is good. It yeah. is good what I'm going to yeah. say. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying it on the ear. Uh -huh. You know what Lord I'm going to do? Jesus, hear this now. I'm going to give you a parcel. <laughs> and good. When we're having another food. Ah, yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Are you cooking my taste or you cook? Okay, fine. That's a problem. Yeah. And then you're going to come back on air and tell them how it tastes. Yes. Okay, real I talk. I want to do that. Real talk. Yeah. All right, listeners, so you hear that? Yeah. So we are preparing to so see. So you just have a plate for me. Okay. Ready? Right? Make give my container. All right, sir. A small self container, though, please. Self-praise is no recommendation, please. Self-praise is no recommendation, she says. For me or for Prestige? Prestige, me <laughs> da, 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 di, da, da, da. Sing with me. <laughs> this is indeed real talk all right well she is locked in she ain't going anywhere tonight she's listening to you well, all I night i can I'm tell you tonight oh boy pressure, pressure, I'm here on the need. so you are gonna be giving me some mutton i'm gonna do that right okay yeah when, when do you want me to do that anytime i told you want to you want to take it. it from tonight sure yeah yes and we get sunday dinner me and Cassie, they get Sunday dinner. Okay, we could arrange that. Eh? Someone could say, give me so. When I don't cook the goat, you're going to go and eat up all of it. What will I get for myself? Let well, me tell you, I have half of one goat. Oh, you do? Good. Okay. Right? Nice. Fine. And me tell you, I'll give you a parcel. Okay, parcels. Hey, parcels. I like yeah. foreign goods, you know. Foreign yeah. goods come. Yes, no foreign sir. goods. <laughs> I mean, no, Jamaica. I know, I know a local goat. I know it's local yeah. goat. And me, I'll give you a cook. Yes, man. Not a problem. And Sunday dinner for me and Cassidy. Okay. So, <clears throat> me and Sanja work Monday, you know. Mm hmm And you come talk about it. Da da dee. <laughs> next to you, so you're angry, you know. And you know what? <laughs> oh, Lord, you know what? It's now 9.31, people. So we're going to that first break. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Some say that Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are found in water and that by drinking the water, we can get infected. But that's false. Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya are transmitted through the bite of a mosquito that breathes in stagnant water. Protect yourself and your family. Yo, this is Jatty the Reggae Ambassador. Join me alongside Jatty Jr. right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, rock steady, and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily Lily Lee. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? 
want to take your life to the next level, learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, you're tuned to Styles FM Radio and you're tuned to the voices of DJ Prestige and Lady Cleo tonight. I see some peeps um, locked in already on the WhatsApp connection there. Mama Winsome. Hey, God, Mama. How you doing, beautiful? Yeah, from Pear Tree River, locked in. Melissa also from Pear Tree River says good night. Midday year two, bless up the house of styles, full house of styles. Yeah, man, and all the peeps over there in Pear Tree River, all the peeps in St. Thomas, mommy, daddy, and the crew tried calling y'all earlier. I'm not answering the phone, gone to a bed already. Mm, real talk is on. And big ups to all the peeps who listen in from Whitehall. Also, loud up, loud out up to all the peeps across the rest of St. Thomas who are listening, by the way, and to those in St. Mary locked in, St. Anne, all parts of St. Anne who can hear us, and those in Portland who are tuned in as well, and our friends by the World Wide Web, Gary, good night to you, Mr. Lewis. How are you? I'm here anticipating anticipating, waiting patiently. Good night, good night to Marvin as well, one of our other avid, avid listeners, the stars. Kevoy Chamber in Sunny Hill, St. Thomas, locked in. <clears throat> and Marvin is telling us the temperature. Um, mm, okay, he's freezing. Okay, Osh. Osh Marvin. <laughs> All right, the time has changed. I know the temperatures have changed um, in them foreign countries pretty much. All right, who else we have locked in? Um, yep. All right, so we keep it going, keep it going, keep those text, coming, text messages coming in. And, of course, remember the phone lines are open once we start our discussion. The phone lines are open and we take the time when you are able to share. All right? All right, so... <clears throat> This week, some uh, unfortunate things have been happening, spiraling in the news. You know that um, arrests were made, or former um, education minister yeah. um, was Royal Reed. taken. Royal Reed was taken into custody, yeah. along with Fritz Pinnock, um, president of Maritime Institute. Yeah. Five of them, eh? along with Mr. Reed's wife. And daughter. And daughter. Yeah, and another. And, Lord, the other name I, I has evaded me. But there are about five of them, as you said. Yeah. Another, I see I'm them. very, very, um, uh, it's just a sad moment, I think. It's yeah. pathetically sad, the turn of events and how things are unfolding, um, cases being prepared. You know, or the prosecution, I'm sure, is seeing to see, trying to see if they can prepare that case to take it into the courts. We don't know how long that will take. We don't know how long this will be going on for. But it's just kind of really ugly. Yeah. It's an yeah. ugly scar. Yeah. It's gonna and ugly. it's, it's going to get uglier, you think? Yeah. And it's going to ugly for you, too. Yes. Because yeah, some more it, reasons it, than it one. It has to do with the educational thing. Education with ministry, you yes. As a school teacher. <laughs> yes. So, you know, for more yeah. reasons, in, yeah. in more ways than one, it's just really. Yeah, sad. It's sad. Yeah, sad. It's a sad moment. I don't know if, it, if it's. <sighs> well, I do. I don't know if it's more empathy or sympathy or just 
annoyance or which one, but I'm just yeah. saddened by this whole thing. Yeah. And the level of corruption, not just oh. with, with what seems to be the case now, yeah. seemingly so, yeah. but overall in our nation, yeah. we're just plagued by a, a level of the height of that corruption has gone to. It's just. It's like bewildering. I like when you use that word. And I'm like, Corruption. when will it will it ever stop? Is it inevitable? W will anything ever come of it where, you know, people n need to pay consequences for their actions? Yeah, but but you know what you I can you know what I can't understand? We held accountable at the end of the day. Uh, oh, then jump to this one so fast, so quick, and the petrol jam. The petrol jam for so many years, years upon years upon it changed so many people and nobody as yet. The petrol jam, you know, but we're not gonna really go into the politics yeah, in the radio station because yeah. I really but, talk but, anyways, but we know. But it's really a real talk there. and it's a real yeah. issue affecting but, you know, us. Then you know, but we quick. wait and see because as it yeah. said, as it said in the rule of, of law, yeah. a man is innocent. Yeah. Until proven guilty. Yes. So one of the things I guess we should not do is, uh, probably I'm guilty of it, be quick to cast aspersions and judgments on people. Let's see how the law works itself out or the law yeah. works. Let's see what the law um, will do, what will happen as it relates to the books. And let's see... Let's just wait and see. We yeah. wait and we see. All right. We have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Greetings. What else? Huh? Who is this? Oh, my God. Where have yeah, you right. been? Where have you been, Dan Dan? You just, you just come up and fire. Now listen to me. Now listen to me. You're no listen. longer my friend of me, but you're my friend tonight. Until, of course, you get nah, on my girl. wrong side. <laughs> hey, it's good to hear you. I have no ex friend in them. It's very good to hear from you. You must say, I have no ex friend. No ex friend. No ex girlfriend. I have no exes. So I'm not an ex either, right? No, no. Okay. Exes. Once a friend, I was a friend. <laughs> okay, sir. <clears throat> so, what's your take on this little topic that we just mentioned tonight? Prestige. Where's that one I go? Oh, oh. You're surprised how things move so quick or something like that. Wait, 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 That's what that. he said, yeah. No, and this one, and this one, not the petrol jam. Oh, no, so, no, oh, so quick on this. No. Because the petrol jam one are going for so long and this one just the other day it occur and it moves <laughs> so quick on this one. <coughs> All right. You know yeah. you know what me see the differences? Yeah. You see the differences. Mm. This man uh, the minister, the education man. Mm -hmm. Former like minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, we can't educate a man because he's a, he's a lifelong um, educator. Yes, yeah. yes. So, the education man, I give him due. <laughs> but, me see, he him rub, him rub somebody in the party the wrong way. Oh. Because, yeah, you really have to ask how things move so quick, so, so swiftly. Yeah. All right, that's a one. After, after, after them, after them retire from the, from the ministry. Yeah. Me, me, one them say, but, but the constituency that he was a caretaker, they don't want him near the place. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like him about plague now. Yeah. Um. All right. That's a two. And then, and then, at his arraignment, you mean say no nah, and party friend them uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the government no come 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 to him um his defense you know not a matter of defense but as a show of support no nah, they no come no, no, no come to him you know show, show, but, like, but, like, but you hold know, on hold it you think he is a case where because you quote unquote as you said you think because you rubbed somebody in the wrong way why this came out to light so quickly you well, think after one because night, because, after the, one night, because, because the because the prime here. minister the prime minister upon hearing the initial allegations he was sacked from yes. the senate and yes so I, I don't know who would he have rubbed in the wrong way so much for the prime minister on hearing <laughs> whatever. 
to just decide to that this is the best way forward? Well, the, the question you have to ask, and and proceed a little to it. Mm-hmm. How come the Petrodan Petrodan thing never moves so swiftly? <laughs> yeah. I guess we won't know oh. until we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 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 uh, but uh, I want to say it, it, it's like it's uh, it's like it's underlying now. It's, it's in bold face now because none of them, none of them really virgin not, not, not say come come at, come at the, um, the court the court proceeding and like a show of strength or, or but, whatever. But isn't don't you think no, he's remember now? Remember now? This a Jamaican. Not. Yes. Politicians not get not get not get accused of anything <laughs> and well they might get accused yes, but in a reach. It never reached court cases <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah. In most instances, it's thrown out, or there is not enough evidence to prove a case. Just die out. In in most instances, it's it's shrouded in secrecy, and the public yeah. don't know. Yeah. Right. In most instances. Push under the rug. Well, yeah. And, and you don't think that and, this yes. one will go that way? Well, <clears throat> like they say, them them don't pronounce it. You know, the, 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 the way them the way them treat them, them treat um the world. Mm. I mean not a good thing in your world now, but the way them treat <laughs> the, the way them treat really. <laughs> yes. It's 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 as if them no want it's like that they don't want to uh, like they don't want no association with uh, with this guy anymore. Yeah. Because they them don't write him up and say, Boy, him can't go near near the constituency as a caretaker. Even though when when him say, he might declare himself as as the guy, you know. They mm-hmm. said, no, I don't want to, but no, in your constituency. But, but so. I, I also learned that um, the board chairman of the school for which he was a principal, that's um, JC, is saying that he will not get back that post unless his name has been cleared. Yeah. Well, but, 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 um, with, 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 which with, is understandable. With yeah, you have, to, you have to understand that because. You know, you, you know, I'm um, bringing the name down of Jamaica College down to, you know, to be to be involved in in them sort of thing. That. But despite this being the same man who elevated the institution to some extent, elevate. Yes. But the institution was the, the institution was always elevated. Was always, well <laughs> was yeah, always so, what? Know, know, it's him. So yeah, you're saying him? Yes. Go ahead. No, Jimmy Kakaj always commanded respect long before he, he was at the helm. Okay. And you don't think he made so, any significant contributions to the changes? Well... While he was well, there? Well, well, I, I know in the, in the 90s and early, and early 2000s, um, Jimmy Kakaj was, was having a stigma of violence and mm-hmm. some, some, some nefarious characters attending the school. Mm-hmm. That's that seemed to have, 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 have been cleared up uh, within the past during his years. tenure. So yeah, so yes, I would. It would by all appearances, looking from the outside, it seems as if that he his thought his stewardship at the school um, has been met with success. Yes, but then you have to wonder at what cost. Yeah, yeah, wow. All right, Dan. Keep it locked. Keep yeah. listening. Yeah, my love. My dad, my dad is, I listen to man. Great to hear you again. All right, yeah. All right. I mean, I'm sure DG must be happy to hear his voice. Um, <laughs> Kevin in Tampa. Is our radio husband? She says it. Yes. <laughs> Kevin in Tampa, <laughs> Florida says, "Why well, we don't talk about Finsack also? Look here, you know. If we were to go into all the yeah. issues tonight, we wouldn't have." Any other real talk except a political real talk. And we yeah. ain't going there too tough tonight, yeah. all right? You think Kevin is for true? Yeah. not easy, I Kevin tell you. A party party thing. Because Kevin guess what? Kevin, I tell you, the list would have been endless. Yeah. All right? Yeah. yeah. Even fin sack. Yeah. Oh, boy. But, you know, but Kevin is not easy, boy. You think it's easy? All Let right. Let me try to get this mix up together, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, yeah? yeah come on, this and I'm sure thing. he would have a lot yeah. other, of other issues to yeah. make mention of. <laughs> if not easy for true, I know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you know we have our um, Vox Pop that we were pretty much on last week. We did not get to completely dissect it as we wanted to. Yeah. So we promised we would do a follow-up this week on that. And then I have some other juicy, exciting stuff to share with you. Oh, yeah, so I you got to... 
Yeah, man. Juicy. Juicy, like how your shirt look. Wow. Juicy. You like this color, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Eh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Do that again. Do <laughs> so, that again. Oh, sure. So, Cassidy, <laughs> let's take it to that uh, Vox Pop idea. And of course, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your views. So, please feel free to share Before you get the ideas that. with Before us tonight. All right. Yeah. Can I say good night to a few people? Sure. I want to say good night to Mr. Nunes. Yeah, we call him Romy, right? Up there in. Um, where is your neighborhood again up there in... Anchovy? Anchovy, Okay. Yeah. All right. Big up a save every time you and the wife. Yeah. I know y'all is into Styles FM. And I want to say good night to Sadie. Big Aye. up a save, Sadie. Thank you very much, Sadie. You know? Sadie brings some pear. Come give me. Yeah, man. She drop mm-hmm. off some pear. Yeah. She come to Portland. Oh. And she just drop off some pear. And the pear them just dry and nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And me just eat And I'm and sure she said, don't give me some. You never give me any. You know, what when, is wrong with you and me and food? You, what, know, what's you, you know, when time you pass through later on, you can get. Um, um, maybe you're not going to pass through later on. I'm going to pass through just yeah. because of whatever you're going to give You'll me. You'll get the pier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right? The pier you're always nice. fighting about food. Why? Yeah. Yeah. I, look I know you day. love me so much, you know, but I you don't give me none of your food, man. You want food? You want cold food? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You like no. You don't like cold food. <laughs> okay. Oh don't boy. Give co- don't give a goat then. Goat <laughs> yes, give me a goat. <laughs> it's all right. Say you want cold food, kick it too hard. You want cold food, kick it too hard. Oh boy. Be a goat. So, guys, so you're yeah. through bigging up your folks? Eh, yeah. So all right. Far, cool. You know? All right. So, whoever is in the. So must push into somewhere, okay. So, whoever, wherever you are tonight, if you are in the taxi or the bus, or where else could you possibly be? You're in a bar chilling somewhere, maybe you're on the corner on the ends, maybe you're at home in bed or in the kitchen whisking up something quick because you just came in. Maybe you're out the door to go to work, maybe you're at work, maybe you're in the cold, maybe you're in the heat somewhere maybe you're under the sheets i don't know maybe you're in the sofa somewhere wherever you are tonight yeah welcome again to real talk and keep it locked um my friend celia what's going on honey honey bunny you're good i hope you're good and my friend dying over there in atlanta georgia as well and vivian Good to hear from you today, Viv. Hope you're good. All righty. Yeah, man. So we're going to go to our Vox Pop idea, and we're going to finish it tonight before we go on to some other stuff. All right? So let me just share the Vox Pop with you again in case you're just joining and you didn't hear it last week. Um, the first part says, parental guidance versus generation gap. Based on the influences of social media, Do you believe that parents still have full control of their children's development or is it a lost battle? Who do you think is to be blamed for the exposure of kids' vulnerability to predators? Do you think millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence and should be allowed the generational freedom their predecessors enjoyed? All right, so we looked at the first part pretty much last week, the influences of social media, and if you believe that the par- that parents still have full control of their children. And pretty much, in a syn- brief synopsis of what I thought, I thought that parents should maintain the control. But sad to say, many of them have become pretty much carefree and probably tired and can't be bothered to the point where social media takes the role of the parent and is it's leading them yeah. it's guiding them and many parents think okay once you, you 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 put a gadget in front of the child whatever age the child is give them a gadget to occupy them so that they don't they don't bother me they don't give any trouble they don't this they don't that oh they're in their room on the, on the computer and they're not 
interfacing with them as much, then probably they're fine. Sad to say that some parents tend to just operate that way. Mm -hmm. Right? And the one-on-one -on -one interaction that they should have uh -huh. where they have certain discussions about... With the child. Uh, yes, with their child or children. Mm -hmm. The discussions that they should have about real-life issues that they are going to be faced with, that they might be faced with. Um, investigating what is happening at school. What is happening in their com around them in their communities? Uh, you know, how do they cope with peer pressure, yeah. with, with bullying, and yeah. all, all these yeah. factors? What's yeah. happening? They don't know what is happening in the children's lives, many of them. And, and a lot of them to use the social media network to... To, 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 um, to learn guide all it, of, Yes, guide, guide their, 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 their daily, their daily you know um, I mean? lives. Yeah. Lives with the kids them and everything. Yeah. So... If we think social, based on the influences of social media, do you believe that parents still have full control? I think many parents have lost the control. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, their children are growing, and many times, many of them are just like, they're pretty much growing by themselves. Yes. Or their friends are guiding the what's that they do and the where's that they go and the how they operate. That's all being guided or, or controlled by friends or peers or even other adults. So you might find them having siblings who are, for example, I know of cases where the child has siblings and the siblings, ma male siblings, and those siblings are the ones that the child pretty much follows. So it's like him even big before time because they're older, but then... He sees how they behave like men. Mm -hmm. And him just follow that. Yeah. You know, and don't get me wrong. I know that there are times you'll have parents who will do their very best to guide and monitor their children. And some of them still go wayward. That, that happens. But I don't think it's the majority. You no, know? No. And you still have those who don't do much, but the children draw to persons who... You know, in, in their lives who are good role models. Mm -hmm. And they follow the guidance of those persons. So it, it, it goes both ways. So you, you want, though, for parents to understand their parental role. The role of, of parents is not a pian pian role. And I've always said, as I'm a parent first, I'm your friend after. So if it is that you're going to expect me to... To, to accept certain behaviors because I'm your mom, it's not going to work. Because maybe your friend and you can relate certain way and chit chat and, you know, you chill certain way on your, on your friend. Don't expect the very same reaction. We're going to have a mom and daughter, mom and son kind of chill where you can feel free to come and talk with me and we play together and have fun and we learn from each other and all of that. And it's and not I like, Right, but, and, but... But it's not like... Back in the days, you know what I'm saying? When you usually have grandmother where you could have sent the youth them to the grandmother and the grandmother don't know nothing about social media and, 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 <laughs> and, and, and it, the idea. Neither did the child either. Way there, yeah, and yeah. grow them up that way there, right? But these grandmother know uh, uh, um, uh, 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 a young parents too. Mm -hmm. Where one go, they end up seeing them prime. Okay, because and enjoy life. Like a, yes, quote unquote, like enjoy baby, life. Yeah, it's like a baby, I uh, have baby, right? And the baby, who have baby? In the have baby again. The grandmother, right? Is young. I have baby too. Yes, so, so the from? uncles are, not the uncles. Yeah, the uncles yeah, are the, younger yeah, than the, yes, the, the, and the I have baby children. Too. And they are the one who live past social media. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard and rough for the youth them nowadays. <laughs> and the way they might grow. I'm not joke. I see your style. Real talk, real yeah. talk, real talk. Well, Melissa in Peach River just going to give me a, a, a small stroke tonight. Mm. Melissa says, mind prestige, give your donkey and say a goat. We'll come back to that topic. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to eat it too. Later on. Yeah, we're going to eat it too. All right. So, yeah. <coughs> Melissa, donkey meat and nice meat. Lord. Are you here? Prestige. Yeah, a nice meat. Are Have you been eating donkey? Eh? Melissa, go to one and donkey meat. <laughs> let's go back to the <laughs> well, let's go back to the box pop for a minute there. All right, so we know that there are parents though mm -hmm. that are doing a great job. Yes. And by great, I'm not saying the child is perfect because no child will ever be perfect, right? But doing a good job to the sense where you're rearing or raising a child yeah. 
that is seemingly a promising um, contributor to society. Yeah. Meaningful contributor to society. Someone who is growing with certain levels of moral values and principles and, you know, knows how to conduct him or herself, understands him or herself to the point where even though he or she is a child, you still see certain qualities coming out because this parent or these parents are doing the best they can to let the child understand yeah. what it means to be a child and where my position is as a mother yes, or as a father. Like yeah, man, we still yeah. have those kind of parents. And I, I know you L. Jackson is one such yeah. parent yeah. who, as I said, told him last time, his daughter doesn't knows what to do, what is acceptable mm -hmm. and what is not acceptable. And when rules are set, mm -hmm. she can't break. She won't break them because she knows what the consequences, consequences might be. be. Just just even talking to her, resp mm -hmm. what daddy will say, yeah. or what mommy will say. Not even talk. Just look. Just look exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it should be at a point parents should have the control over their, over their kids. Like and, that. and when we say control, yeah. we don't mean. You have them in a house and they're not going anywhere no, not and they can't control. write and they, they can't come out. Yeah, yeah. And we're talking about picnic yeah. understanding yeah. that they're my picnic. And as daddy would say, boy, a boy, an adult, an adult. And mm. the children must understand that. It's sad when you see children, six years old, five years old. And I mean, for me, it's always pathetic to hear a parent say, why me can't control him? him. The child does whatever he or she wants to do, behaves a certain way, and it's like, I can't control him. And sometimes the parents will smile at certain things that the child will do, or laugh about it, or video it. And it's just crazy. Oh, you try to control him now when he break out, when you try to control him, find him a two year old, three mm -hmm. year old, I come up. Exactly. Right? And by that seven, level. eight, you're trying by to seven, control. Eight. This child already uses psych yeah. psychology and she say, okay, yeah. my mom is like this, this and she will accept that yeah. and i can get away with this and that is or, like this yeah so when daddy is here me just hold me corners and then mommy will say oh so when your father is here you behave like that uh, and we're not saying to be autocratic yeah. leaders we're yeah. not saying you're going to be this control yeah. freak where the child is afraid to come and talk to you yeah. the child is afraid to say boy mommy something happened on the road yesterday you know the, the child don't want to because you might boof boof and baff them but discipline them by early Keep right. them in check from early you know, I've had students. Yeah. You have some parents still, you know. You have some parents, you know. Oh, let's start. We are the on the them, yeah. 10 o'clock break. It's 10.02, yeah. guys. We, oh, my goodness. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Native Audio Stage and Lighting Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a bit. You give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town holy golly <laughs> 
<laughs> Your Saturdays will not be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune no, one, tune. No, no, I no ice cream sound. Good morning, teacher. Long time, teacher. He edged your love with love song. Oh, help me. Station Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shock up to the plane. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk, Parental Guidance versus Generation Gap. And of course, Generation Gap is a problem too. Yeah, because the way my parents raised me and the era that we were living in then and the way my mom's mom or grandmother grew her is completely different from how the kids today are being raised. Right, and of course, with the adv advent of advancement in technology, you find that those parents who would have been from my grandma or my mom's era, so to speak, mm -hmm. many of them are not so versatile on what's happening with the technology that the children nowadays are great at. Because you'll find a grandmother might say, I've heard parents say, I said, you need to check the phone, so on, so on, so. And when you, when you listen to them, they'll tell you, boy, teacher, I don't know how to go into it and look for or the tablet. Or, and the children will know exactly mm -hmm. how to hide whatever and how to, you know, to find and delete and to do all the crazy things that, <laughs> that, that can happen, be done with these gadgets. Yeah. So, yes, there's also a generation gap. But also you find, and then some of the ways in which the, the method of, of raising the children that the grandparents of yesteryear would want to employ might not be, not all of them, might not be the best approach now to deal with this generation X, which is, which is what I call them, generation X that we're living with. This generation, the respect gone. <laughs> And what is happening? Yeah, the respect gone. What is happening? With this generation. I don't know. No if, respect. When I was growing up, yeah. one of the things I remember distinctively, I could not butt into a conversation yeah. if my mom and somebody was speaking or yeah. my grandma was speaking. I walked between and was gone. Yeah, away, yeah. Go. I had to go sit on one side somewhere. I can't even be around them. No. Standing up or no. sitting nearby. You can't hear drop. Yeah, yeah, you can't stay far up if you're hearing the voices and, but, and you're probably yeah, listening. But if you look around, I see you nowhere near. I find you look around, so you have and to move. No, I, I, I recently I saw two people talking at a little bit of a distance. And the child, young child, was standing in the midst of the two of them just looking up. Yeah. And parents. Um, aunts and uncles, and I'm speaking generally now, not everybody does this, are having a conversation 
that, in my view, the child shouldn't even be hearing, for yes. one. Yes. And the child is sitting in the midst of them being a part of the discussion, laughing when they think it's okay to laugh at something that was said, yeah. when quite frankly, they should not be a part of that discussion. You understand? So, th- th- and there are, there, are, um, there are myriads of things you can mention that parents, many parents have really shied away from or are no longer doing so, yeah, that we, would help yeah. to give them control, so to speak, over yeah. the kids' so now we development. Go back, now we go back to what you said before of a six-year-old, right? Mm-hmm. Who is unruly, right? When you have kids like this at that age, right? Say, three-year-old, four, and you have them in, you know, the midst of a conversation that, like that, adult conversation, and you're talking about this, you're talking about that. Where the kids are supposed to be in a room, mm. lie down, and the kids are watch TV or play pan in game, right? And you have the kid in that middle of the conversation, anything you want to say, the kid laugh to. Mm-hmm. So when the kid reach six and seven now, and you try to curve that kid, you already break out that kid already, yep. pan a level parents, there, and it's your fault. Some parents have given yeah. up their control. They have let go and allowed other things to be doing what they are supposed to yeah. be doing. They get homework, for example, and they come home, and the parent will say, our teacher go with that. She doesn't make me on the internet, and we can't do that. And that child internalizes that statement. Yes. Okay. So my mom, this is my mom's reaction. We now do the homework, homework then. And they might not say that, you know. But in the back of their head somewhere, it's already there to think it's okay to not do it because my mom doesn't have the internet. So the child will come back to school without any effort of even doing the work. No, no, get me, get me. If it is that the parent for for real has no internet, we can understand that. But your attitude and the approach you take to the situation is what makes a difference. Exactly. But in the head, they say, boy, I'm not on it, you know. The homework looks tough still, you know. But you know what? I'm going to sit down and go through it with the child. And say, well, we don't have any net now, but we're going to try to do something. Yes. And call the teacher and say, boy, teacher, I really could have managed the homework, you know, but me and I are sit down, I mean, him sit down and we do, do something. So if it's all right, come on, man, you know, let the child see that my mom, I even say to the child, if you can't read, listen, you have to do your homework. Homework is a must. So when teacher says, do your homework, make sure you come back with your homework. Yeah. When the child goes home, the parent should be singing the same sankey. Your homework is a must. Most. Whether the child can manage or not, you sit and you try to do something with that child. If you can't manage to read it, go and get some help next door. Get some other auntie or some other cousin, some other high schooler who can assist the child. Yes. But do something, man. Mm-hmm. No, um, me, me can't do that. What am I saying so much homework, homework, homework ago? I want a teacher. This is going to school. And, go be and, in the safe and, and eat and your and food. Go, go be in and eat your dinner. I left right? that, not do yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, you find dinner. that and, all you know of I mean? this. Yeah. All, and, and children are not stupid. They are some of the smartest set of people. As small as they are, they are very, very smart because they know how to pull you and try to test you. And I've seen children, I just look. They're doing something wrong. And I give a look. Just the eyes alone spoke to that child many, many times. And the person just knows, say, Miss Lewis, na joke. She means so and so and so. Another time, the voice alone just use and then get the message. And these kids, she's talking about uh, range, age range 6 to 12, 13. And you have some of them you know, who try to do the homework still, even though the mother said, you know, and when them, what, what they can do, then leave it. And when they go to school the next morning, them said to the teacher when they when they give up them book. Because they might be the last one for give up for the book, you know. Because they know say they're not finished for them homework, you know. And when they give up them book, they must say, you know, say, my mommy says she couldn't do, you know. Mm-hmm. But it makes the, a the difference still, you know. The, yeah. Teacher still my feels better. Say, yeah, and then they could wait, you know. You know. But you have some of the parents them too. We tell the kids them too. You know, see, if you tell the teacher, say, I come home late from work. 
And they have time to help them. And they have time to do that. And, and I know that's there. an issue too, yeah. right? That sometimes is an issue. Sometimes but I think but the effort, yeah. just the effort alone yeah. will make a big difference because you can still communicate with teacher yeah. and let the school know your situation and they see how best they can yeah. accommodate you. Yeah. But really and truly though, parents need to... Yeah. Vox Pop, please. Yeah. Parents need to accept the fact that I brought this child here and I have a responsibility to see to it that my child grows properly. Yeah. My child develops into the type of person that society will look forward to having and, and will, will contribute meaningfully to the society. We don't want you know, be, to be breeding up um, murderers and killers and criminal, all kind of criminals. And, and, and I know sometimes the, the environment and the society, the communities in which some children live might affect their development. And but I still think... Yeah, and some of the youth, they, you know, they, 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 they have that potential, you know. Yes. But you see, the, the, the parent, if the parent just open them out, right, and put them pride aside and say, listen up, go and call the auntie, because they know point blanks so them cannot. You know what I mean? Go and call the auntie, and let you know, and, and you sit down, and you talk to the auntie, and tell the auntie, because some of them, you know, they know point blank say, they cannot read and write on that level, you know, right? But they don't want anyone to know. That's and they must go seek help right. too. Yes. You know, and, you and, have and, three, four yeah. children going into primary school and high yeah. school. Yeah. Go and get some help, man, with some classes. Somehow, get somebody to help you to learn to read so you can assist the smaller ones right. as best as possible. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Because so you, 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 as a teacher, see that that little young man or that young lady, the young girl, have potential. You know what I mean? You know? But the help home. It's not there. Some parents' priority Some parent, need yeah. to change. change. Yeah. You have the children yeah. and you just, okay, side. once we give them food and shelter, that's it. No. Yeah. No. No, you have to know the friends with them keep. Yeah. Know where they are at night. When you're in your bed, putting it out the door. door. I, I mean, young children outside on the road and you're wondering, so where are these parents? And, come up and, and you're, you're thinking, them oh, them. they're in the community, so they're all right. They're in the yard, yeah. so they're all right. This is how sometimes some children get molested and get raped. Yeah, 9 o'clock at night. And 10 Pick me out the door. At that time, they're going to be it when they come from school. Sometimes mother gone, so. Father gone, so. Then left him with the neighbor next door for watch him. And the picnic gone, gone about them business. It's just crazy. So I think parents overall need to have Take back the control. But you know, see the new liquor right. going now. A lot of parents, right? Because the law, you know, you know, when you, it's been out there, see, but now them enforce it on a level that if you leave the youth home, right? The underage youth, them home, and boy, you're going to dance and all kind of things and stuff like that. Where the parents, they might do not, I carry the pity them now in a pram, I got to dance. <laughs> Pram push them in a pram uh, and, that, they want and that's a whole other story. Can you I tell you? Can't say nothing to them with, with that. And that's they, 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 a whole other story. In a pram, can they not want to leave them home now? Right? And then get in trouble. Anything go up man, the house, burn down. And that is not like even that. anything better. Than, not, it's not even better. You know what I mean? I can't say it's better. Yeah. You know, because... And them things that are going Oh, out. boy. Let's look at part two to this. <laughs> Why them people are Who easy. do you think is to be blamed for the exposure of kids' vulnerability to predators. Ah, oh boy. Kids' vulnerability. Exposure of the kids' vulnerability to predators. So kids become um, easily led and carried away by people who prey on them. Mm -hmm. And that's because of some amount of exposure in, uh, in some cases. Are we talking from what range bracket? What range? Um, what group? What you know, age? You know, you have preteens yeah. and teenagers mm -hmm. who become vulnerable to predators yeah. and it's not always as a result of exposure that they get okay. because there are some children who are sheltered yes and there are some children who are taught well mm -hmm. but somewhere on the line i don't know what caused that bridge in the gap they become sidetracked and i don't know if it's peer pressure or any other family related pressure where they feel stressed out mommy and daddy not getting on well they see abuse in the home they themselves might be abused whether verbally physically sexually um psychological effects on on, on their minds they're not performing well one parent is absent 
or one parent might have died. They don't know one parent or they don't know both parents. So some of these factors can contribute to them um, being ex well, becoming vulnerable to other men or women who might want to lead them astray. But then you also have those kids who are in good, quote-unquote, good homes and good upbringing, and they have all the things for their comfort. They have their own room, television in the room, their gadgets. They have three meals a day, getting money at school to spend. They're living good, you know, what we call good, or they're living okay. And sometimes, sometimes they can't get a chance to tra travel in the summers and the, the, the Christmas and so on, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. so you have kids like those yeah. who still end up becoming vulnerable to predators. Yes. Because then they go on these gadgets and they meet, meet people who say they are ex age group and they, they create friends on the, some of these sites. And then these friends over time inveigle them and coax them to do stuff and to go places that they're not supposed to go. So it, 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 it's, it's on both sides of the coin, pretty much. But who do you think is to be blamed for this exposure? I think to a large extent, society to a very large extent mm -hmm. apart from the reckless parents that we mentioned earlier yeah. who love the children and allow other people to be monitoring them and to be you know quote unquote growing them um we do have societal influences we do have the music which i think so many of us are responsible for because if we don't put a stop to certain things, then it will continue. Mm -hmm. If we don't stand firm and speak out on certain things against certain things, then we won't see a change. You know, if we stop buying certain types of music and not supporting certain kind of slackness, then maybe they will take a different route. Who knows? And another thing too, with the parents, them the clothes that they are buying these kids for wear. You're a 12 year old. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Put it like that. And you buy all these tights and put the kids in some tights with uh, some small, short little t shirt and all them kind of things there. The kids have to cover them body. They're young. You get me, I say? Because we don't know all them predators out there still, you know. Mm -hmm. Right? We know them still out there, you know. And, and some of the parents, too, yeah. will, will, will say, okay, we say they're adults, but at the same time, being adults, and the parents see the children see you leaving home and going to the party with pretty much a panty on. Yes. Then they're gonna think, oh, mom, mom thinks that. it's sexy. Yeah. Mom thinks that's cute. Yeah. So I am gonna also want to go to parties naked. Simple as that. You know, so it, it, it's 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 societal to a great extent, and by societal, I'm not only hitting on the lewd music that is out there that they can hear and some many so many of them feed on. We're not only talking about that, but there are other aspects to society. How no longer can no longer we see a village rearing a child, raising a child. You sit down in the house, you're watching a movie, and your daughter watch the same X-rated movie. Crazy. And she's just 9, 11, 13, and she sit down and watch the same X-rated movie. Things like those. Crazy. You know, you put ideas in the kids' in mind. Crazy. You get me, I say? You know, see it. And then your stepfather sit there, or your boyfriend sit there, not the, the, the father of the child, watching the movie too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, it's crazy. And then you have those who allow allow um, other people, th they get monetary gain yes. um, from using their children. Yeah, and the trust, what you have in some people, some time, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You leave your daughter home because a lot of this happened, you know, a lot of this happened, you, know. you leave your daughter home with your step, with our stepfather. Stepfather, you, you leave your daughter vulnerable that time, you know, yeah. to him, you know. Because, may I tell you, Cleo, the predator, them come in many different forms. Oh, yes. Many different forms. Uncle, cousin, brother. You get me, I say? Parson. When God forbid, teacher. Kids, believe me. When the mind should have blank away from that, 
the mind will open up to that. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. So this, this, this blame, not even no one person, no one person gets blamed for that. No, no, I can't say the parents are the ones to be blamed for the kids' exposure. It's a, 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 a myriad of persons. And in school again. It happened right? again too. Because, let me tell you, on this level, we send my daughter to school, right? And you send your daughter to school. Cassie, they send him daughter to school. Three of them are friends. Mm-hmm. And him say, okay. You know, say, your daughter say, you know, say, Mrs. Mommy, uh, you know, and him talk about things. They talk about things. We at my home. Where daddy do, where they say daddy I do, and mommy I do, mm-hmm. and they talk about things. You know what I say? So, that one I influence your, my own I influence your daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On a level. So she become vulnerable now. You know see it? To society. To watch certain things. Right? Because she hear certain things and know certain things now. You know? So you have to look upon it on a society level too. And you have to look upon it in the school too. Not only home with parents. And that is why it comes back to if parents having trying to gain or to, to maintain that control of yeah. their child's development, even though we know that peer pressure exists and there are other variables that will contribute to a child either going on the right path or going astray, despite those variables, if you as the mom or dad really, really have that relationship with your child where you try to pretty much know your child, then some of these things will come out because the child might come and say, boy, mommy, you know, say, me to school today, and then I'll come and i talk about X, Y, and Z, no, and i tell me, say, you know, Donald, listen, you know. good night, Donald. Donald. Yes, don't use that name, Donald. <laughs> use that next When name. I said it, Freddy. I thought about it. I'm going to use Donald. Or Fred. Donald won't mind. I'm sure you won't mind. Yeah. And you know, I hear Donald talking about what him see his mother do and what his father do. And that way, you know, that child who is comfortable to talk to his or her mom or dad, the mom hearing that will now know how to work at getting their child to not listen to or follow or, you know, they, they'll have more information on which to act on. Yeah. As it relates to how much this child interacts or whatever with their child, what they're gonna tell their child. Yeah. Can I can I you pa- know? can I pause for a minute? Right? I I I I, I speak to my, my listening audience out there. This is counseling tonight. <laughs> eh? No, this is no, I'm just asking. Oh gosh. You know, this is counseling tonight, right? Because this is real talk. Because let me do it like this. 876-453-1444. Eight, right. I've been on a lot of parents out there. I listen yes. to Sizefer right now. I want to know participate in this. For real. Right? I want to know feedback on that level. You know? Real talk. Real talk. And want overseas. Feedback. Overseas yeah. number is 954-338-7973. We want to hear the parents what tonight. What happened to Daddy tonight? I don't know. Eh? In tired? Must you saw him pop down? Must. <laughs> Must have a rough day today. I tell you, oh, yeah, he did. He told me he was oh, uh, oh. all the way over young at one point. Oh, yes. oh, what happened to Fury Friend Donald? Where's Donald? Yeah, what happened to Donald tonight? Donald? Yeah. Hmm. All right, so let's share the next part of the Vox part while we anticipate these calls to come in and text messages, right? Uh, do you think millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence and should be allowed generational freedom? their predecessors enjoyed um i don't know if i can say they are more advanced in thought and intelligence. I, I think it's half and half some of them seemingly are some of them seemingly are very very smart very very intelligent and some seem to be very smart and advanced in the wrong way too yeah. because we're wanting to be advanced some of them are not. Yeah. With so, technology now. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they have that yeah. locked. With technology now. This is the I mean. tech 
the tech yeah. savvy kids because yeah. as young as they are yeah, you, a, yeah, you will have a four year old and a four year old can walk my phone oh and yes do and do some something you wonder yes. and yeah they yeah. can and the kids will tell you when i was at my previous school mm. those kids told me some things and i'm like huh yeah. Huh? Yeah, because I was discovering things because I really had had no time to be discovering and finding certain things that they knew about. Yeah. So when I wanted something to be done, sometimes they would tell you. If you ever ask a child, what's the number to check your phone number or check your whatever? Yeah. They they know how of them. Yeah. It's just like but, but they, they know it, them all. This this my friend, me call him my friend, me call him my son, me call him my godson. Down there in Buff Bay, but Spring Garden at a Pauline place, right there, Spring Garden. Mm -hmm. like, everybody stop at that place all the time. That, that bar and the shop there, right there, pan Spring Garden, pan the stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have a little boy, Pauline's grandson, named Dylan. He got to the school up here, so with the, you know, the school where he can't talk, uh -huh. but he can hear, uh -huh. you know, and stuff like that. I mean, I tell us, I have the phone, you know, every time I go there, he take the phone from me, right? And he go in there and he playing game. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my phone. <laughs> Is a lock on your phone? Yeah. Oh, my God. And then time I'm at six. Oh, wow. Crazy. Then time I'm at six. That's scary, isn't it? And he take the phone, he <laughs> open it. All right. I get a new phone and I never set it up. Mm. And he take the phone from me and set it up. Set up everything on the phone. Jesus. Oh boy. Everything he said on the phone. And he started playing game after. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. They, they, they are yeah. advanced. He's looking at the phone and he see picture in the phone and he come back to me and he say, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Picture the phone. Oh my God. Out, out, out. I tell me to delete it. Oh, my it. God. <laughs> Can we know what picture that was, Prestige? <laughs> the delete picture. Which picture was that, Deli? Eh? Um, um, you know them things that come on WhatsApp where people say all the time, say all kind of something on WhatsApp. Oh, and he saw, yeah. oh, Lord yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And he said, if you delete it, delete it. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, it oh, easy, boy. They, they, they are advanced. I, I, in, full of hope. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um intelligence yeah. and all and yeah. we are gonna come back to this yeah. thought because it's now nine ten thirty one. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. King Mitchell locked in, good to see you. Yeah. We we'll soon come back. The time is brought to us by Native Audio Stage. Real talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Yo, this is Jati the Reggae Best. Join me alongside Jati Jr. Right here on Styles FM Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show I'm going to take you on a musical ride In a yard style Coming up Rock steady And oh yeah We'll rock you from old to new Roots Culture And In a dance hall style Lily Lily Lee And remember Each and every Saturday From 1 to 5 p.m. For the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show Check it out Right here on Styles FM Yes For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 
518-2399. To advertise your business and defense, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk tonight. You're tuned to dj prestige and lady cleo on real talk and of course we're holding some real real serious meds as it relates to how it is that parental guidance is today versus that generation gap which is it which is taking over our parents still in control of their child's or children's development or is that a lost battle and the children are just Growing up willy lily, you know, doing whatever they want and just going day by day, uh huh, week by week, month by month, year by year. Uh, do you think millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence and should be allowed the generational freedom their predecessors enjoyed? I don't know if I can say you can give any child at all, whichever era they come, they're born from, especially this set, any form of freedom so much because they get them an inch and as wow. we know they take a whole yard so everything mm -hmm. must come with moderation they must get guidance yes they should not be allowed to do as they want mm. but with the fact with the fact that or because they are millennial kids mm. and we know that advancements exist with technology so yes to give them um more to think about, more to, will be there to explore, more will be there to discover, right? And all of that, all the five C's, um, four E's, and the five, five E's and four C's will be coming out in their learning process. They'll be collaborating. They'll be thinking creatively, right? They will be engaging and... um elaborating on issues and they'll be debating stuff and all them something that coming out um we know that will be happening and you want to provide opportunities for children to learn all they can and as much as they can which is of course within the confines of their age group mm -hmm. but i don't know same freedom as their predecessors enjoyed. I would have wanted Ro to specify an example of what he's referring to. <laughs> because I know, I know, if they gave me too much freedom back then, I would have abused it. And if they gave my mom too much freedom back then, she also would have abused it. Mm. So if you give these children too much of anything named freedom, again, there will be an onslaught of it. <laughs> so everything must come with moderation. And yes, the kids are smart. Our kids are intelligent. But back in, but back in my days, if me have get a lot of freedom, and a matter of fact, me, me have a lot of freedom, but what we used to do? Just run up and down and just play. <laughs> yeah. That's all I used to do, Prestige? Just run up and down and play. And you think the kids of today, if they were to get that same kind of freedom, they would do the same, run up and down and play? No. What do you think they'll do? Think so. Why? I don't know. You think they're too kids smart? Are yeah, so you're saying the kids, the kids are, back of today are smarter than you were? The kids are wet now? Yes. Not really smarter than we. Were they more intelli now. Are they more intelligent than you were? Not really. But at the same time, 
now in this time um we were more conscious you were more conscious yes in our time but for example but you them nowadays no eh. no conscious no consciousness is there with them you think they're they're a bunch of what we call hotheads well moon say hotheads you know what would you say when i say them the mute nowadays you see technology take over them life on a level you see me i say as it turn them back, into fools or make them smarter and it make them smarter in certain way but again too <laughs> it, 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 it have some of them on a different level level yeah you know Back in the days, oh, the phone, the phone line work. No, the phone is actually working now. Oh. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Thanks for calling. Another pleasant good night to you, Lady Cleo. Hi, Donald. I noticed that DJ Prestige is with you tonight. Yes, he is. Informing <laughs> that, informing, inform him that I'm just coming from church. Praise yes. Jesus. And, and I, I prayed for him. Okay. That's the reason why you're talking like a pastor tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, the Lord has come into my soul. Yes. I praise Jesus. <laughs> yeah, nice. Man, yeah, man. Nice. I'm just calling to say hi. Yeah, oh, I am cool. at, at church still. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. But I, I wanted to watch the first club tonight again. I'm still talking about children and the Right, men. we're wrapping I'm that one up about the children and, you know, if, right. if we think, yeah. When you say still at church? Right. Yes, he's still in church. All all right. Right. If yeah, man. Yes, I guess. All right, Donald, yeah. thanks for calling. Whisper yeah, my man, prayer when you finish, you hear? As soon as prayer meeting finish, I'll call you back, man. Yeah, yeah right. whisper my prayer tonight. All right, cool. And my next topic, yeah. you have to be a part of it, so make sure you come up. When you come from prayer meeting, you come and listen. All right. All cool. right, sir. Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> ah, isn't that cool? Boy, I tell us, I Praise like Jesus. Lord, Christ, forgive thing. Donald for listening to us while he's in we, church. For what? For what? It's a good thing. Praise Jesus. It's a good thing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Styles if I get blessing too. Yes. It's a good thing. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a good thing. Let's see what young boy King Mitchell yeah. is saying because <laughs> Preston say him too young to be talking on this subject. Well, let's see. Yeah. Um, back then, they told us about dish running away with spoon yeah. in songs. Yeah. But now it's more telling us about universal law yeah. on a tube. Compare it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I got to about back then. I, I, I back about then. The and he just born yesterday. The 90s. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> the phone lines are open, guys. The local number, 876 <laughs> And overseas connection is 954-338-7973. Yeah. Um, not because you might not have any kids. That doesn't mean you can't have an input tonight, all right? Yeah. I want to say goodnight going out to Lisa Rules and Barbara down there in Wandy Bolas. And all Margie right. up there in Arizona. And my Lady Grace Wandy Atlanta. Hey, Good Gracie. Yes. My dad is from Wandy Bolas, I believe. Yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah. Eh? Mm-hmm. All right, so, um, all right, let's go back to the Vox, but the last part there, we're going to wrap up this one. Um, so kids, millennial kids, kids of this era, they are advanced. They have all the gadgets that they need to be able to source the World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. Is there um, at their displeasure or pleasure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they are not wasting any time Telephone. to get as versatile with the technologies Telephone. that exist as yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. They are going full full speed ahead. Yeah. They are leaving many of the older folks behind. Yeah. They are so advanced at it and with it that they make us look like we're not even trying. Yeah, yeah. the things that they can discover and they do. We who? All of we. We who young older than them. We hope you know they take with them too. We <laughs> no, yeah, we're up in some ways, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's yeah. uh, no, no, no. This no. might sound crazy, yeah, but more. I saw yeah. where my daughter at yeah. one point, you know, on WhatsApp. Yeah. You know that you can send a message. Um, when the person gets it, you would think, okay, it's about dub at one tick. Yes. If it's sent. Yeah. When they receive it, once they have Wi-Fi or the data, yeah. double tick. Yeah. And once they read it, yeah. you see, 
blue. Blue tick. Yeah. 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 So of course I had it in my head that yeah. that's it. Yeah. That's how it works. Mm. I saw where I wasn't seeing no color on the ticks. Yes. I mean I wonder then how Minas to where she get the ticks all long and she not reading the ticks. Mm. Lo and behold, I discovered that. She actually read the ticks. Yes. But she can go in the settings. Settings and change. And, and it up. change something where. Yeah. The she, color not come up. The color not come up. And one next something you can go into go and in change, change and that when some panic, people. Not yeah, you. right. You, you, you don't see. Yeah. Me not, me not have a time for your good uh, go search true, and uh, uh, that's true. I no, really just not have. Ring. Yeah. I may answer. Are the you want to send one message? You just send, send a message. I may read the message. You know, stop to look. Say, okay, you know, want a person here see when last you were online. But I don't have time for that. Come not have a time for you. I but they know it. how to do all yeah, the variations yeah, that's to the whole something that's them. True. It's crazy. Yeah. I so, didn't tell you. You, you. you was online XYZ Ray Ray Ray. Yes. Because, Mr. Me? Mr. Me don't even know where me did that. They know it. how to, to freeze yeah. things that we could never thought could be frozen. Yeah. <laughs> they know how to unfreeze it. They know how to put it up. Yeah. When we thought it was only one way, could I stay? Put it down, turn it to the side. I don't know. Uh, them, them, just, yeah. them just different. Yes. Yeah. Yes, all those things. But the thing for me, brain can't get them all the information. That's what I'm saying. Me. I don't have the time. No. You, you're so busy on the move, on the go, that yeah. you really don't stop to find time to even go through a phone like that. Yeah. Half of the things on the phone, probably I've never used, to be honest. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, how are you? I'm not bad, how are you? I'm good, good night to the panel. Yes, thank you, sir. I'm Gary from Monique. Hi. Yeah. Um, my input is, there's nothing wrong with the children. Mm-hmm. There's something wrong with the parents. Okay. Especially more so the, the, woman, the ladies that are growing the children. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of these parents have this say that they are being their children's best friend. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of them, instead of being their friend, they are breaking them bad. Yes. Believing, doing things and being opponent with the stuff that the children are doing mm -hmm. in order to be their friends. Yeah. Yes. I've heard of some little children, seven, eight, nine, casting some cross-up words in front of their parents, and their parents said nothing. Mm-hmm. Because the parents did it to their parents. Yes. And it's the same thing. Yeah. They, and I wanted to read between the lines. There was a, a, a young lady, um, 40 in her 40s, yeah. She had um, some children. Mm -hmm. And she was passed in one day with one nine-year-old little boy and the other one seven. Mm -hmm. And the seven-year-old was saying, um, John is asking me for X. Mm -hmm. And say, yeah, asking for twenty dollars, and say for giving twenty dollars, I he, he will give me X. Mm -hmm. And the mother, instead of the mother cautioning the child and saying, no, that's wrong. No, what the mother would do was laughing. You know, you know, you know, you know, people, you know, you know, some people. Stop to do that. And I was really, really surprised. And the little boy repeated, mm -hmm. and the mother repeated it. Oh, God. And I was really, I, I felt so bad that those children at those age, and I was like, no, man, it's something that is going on. Mm -hmm. Whether it is in school or in the home, mm -hmm. that he's saying another boy is asking him and saying, if he give him $20, and the mother still don't correct them. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine later on, don't you yes, know what they are doing to other person's children at school mm -hmm. at that age, seven yeah. years old? Wow. So, so, yeah. That made so, my skin just um, crawl a back, while ago. Back then, there, was, there wasn't so much um, parents used to have different ways of saying things to their children, and it wasn't spelled out so much aloud mm -hmm. like now. Children have more access to all different type of gadgets, as somebody rightfully said, but the parents themselves, they are ignorant with a lot of stuff. Yes, they are. And they, yeah, it's so, so hence... They, when they try to correct the children is when they are in public at that time it's much too late mm -hmm. yeah. there's one saying is that you teach you learn to dance yeah before you learn to dance abroad definitely uh, you know my grandmother used to tell me a story tell us a story mm -hmm. she said there was this gentleman this grandmother growing up her grandson and 
she used to teach her grandson stuff. But when her grandson got sentenced to hang, mm-hmm. and they asked him, you have any last word? He, he, he said, yes, you want to say something to his grandmother. And he beat off his grandmother hears. Wow. And say, you did not tell me that this would happen to me, else it wouldn't happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's really sad, but, you know, it's one teach one, and it's education. Yes. At the end of the day, it's not being bright, because being bright, you can bright and still don't know. Yes. But educating, and it starts with the parent. Amen. And if we can start with one peer, because a lot of parents send their children at school to, 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 to groom them, you know. Yes. They don't know how to groom their children. They are so happy when, when there's no holiday. So they yeah. can just rush them after they don't know what to deal with them at home. Yes, they can't so deal they with them. They, they can't deal with the one or the two. Yeah, so they expect teachers to yep. grow their children for them. Yep. That's you know true. what I mean? Have a self for blessed night. That's yeah, my you opinion. too. Thank you, Gary. Right. Great hearing from you. Is it cold over there in Monique? It is, it is. I not can cool, imagine. Cool. Not cold, cool. Cool, all right. <laughs> all righty. Thanks for calling. All right. All right. So our friend there from St. Anne, Jamaica. Oh. All right. So pretty much, guys, um, we're going to come out of the box pop a little bit. And, of course, your kids, we're going to see who are, who's online there. Annette in Duck and Field, good night. Always listening to the program. Annette in Duck and Field, good to have you. Lady Grace, good night to you too. Lady Grace, just got in. We have some more juicy stuff lined up for you. Marcia in South Carolina. Good night, good night to Marcia. You, Marcia. Long time. Mm. Long time. We're going to hear from Marcia, don't it? On a Friday yeah, night. On a Friday night, yep. All right. Um, yeah, another school teacher. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. That's the reason, the reason why. Yes. The, yes. the teachers are responding yes. tonight. Mm. Um, but, you know, uh, remember, I still believe that uh, uh, a, a nation, uh, a community, mm. a village should be able to raise a child. Mm. And sad to say, gone are the days when pe- um, par- parents would allow other elders yeah. to be able to co- correct their children. Yeah. You know, nowadays you find it like if somebody tell to talk to you too hard, what you must do from what you won't do, and you kiss teeth and you curse bad words or profanity. You know, profanity. Women are like? you know, it's crazy. You know, one of the things women are like, men are like, say for instance, your daughter and you are tell your daughter say that's Uncle Lewis. No bother tell the name about no Uncle Lewis. I mean, no, <laughs> I mean, related to you, no time at all, yes. no way. I am just a friend of the family. Don't tell the people about no Uncle Lewis. His and name, uncle, uncle Mr. Business so and so. You get Mr. Me so and so, right. And them Uncle Uncle Business. Sometimes the familiar, familiarity breeds contempt because it's a poor man. child. Uncle, come on, want to lift you up and put your hand on the lap and hug you up and all kind of things. When is your friend? And, you know, see, that yeah. Mr. Lindsay. And don't allow anybody yeah. too tough to go near your children. Yeah. I tell the people Boy or girl. Or auntie, this and Uncle is. Don't and love your children too tough with any and any body. Because not everybody who smiles with you is really your friend and who genuinely looking out for your children. One must be smart and be wise. Sometimes the very same ch- people they trust and trust their, t- um, their children with are the ones who abuse them and this hurt them. This uncle business and this auntie business. Yeah. You get me? Real talk. Yeah. This uncle and this auntie. Just have everyone... Give everyone, yes, the so-called benefit of the doubt yeah. to an extent where you have, have a clean slate for them. But don't low up and take it for granted that, oh, because I've known him for, t- for years and he knew my mother yeah. and he knows my father. Yeah. Then, and he knew me growing up. So now, my child, don't take anything for granted. Protect your children. Take back the reins of rearing them properly. Yeah. Mother and father first, friend after. Right? Friend after. Can't be friend first. Then you're going to try parent them when they turn wayward and start to all kinds of things that they're not supposed to do. Parents first. And if them can't appreciate that too bad, they're stuck with me for life. Yeah? That's what I think. Tough, and tough love is also very important. Yeah. Make picnic know so they're my picnic and know where they stand. You're not going to abuse them. You're not going to buff and buff them, lick them down, kick them down, treat them badly. No. But children should know from a very tender age 
what you stand for, what your expectations are, where they are at, and where you as parents are at. Real talk. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with us on the Vox Pop. Yeah, we see persons coming in. Them no more think I don't have Africa, them day. When them call everybody auntie and uncle. <laughs> mm. uh, all right. That was the last message coming in there on the issue from Melissa. So, guys, we have an article here for you. Well, possibly more than one. Yeah, if time permits us. And it's from lovepanky.com mm. by Amil, Amil, Amelie. Yeah, or Amelie, rather. Amelie Lee. My bad. So Amelie Lee is the name. And it says 30 naughty questions for couples to keep the spark alive. You know, sometimes you start date a lady. Yes. Right, Prestige? Mm -hmm. And things just fiery and hot and steamy. Yes. Or you start dating a gentleman, Lady Cleo. And you're like, ooh, la la, this guy just have me weak. Right, ladies? You say to yourself and then I say to him. <laughs> or, wow, real cool guy, real hot stud, real dapper, whatever ladies say to themselves. And things just really, really mellow and juicy like prestige shirt. Right? And you're thinking, say, yo, star, the lady I make me feel good. What should I make you feel? Good. Oh, no, 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 no. Make it sound gooder than that. <laughs> she made me feel good. Oh my gosh. All right. So, yeah. And you're thinking, <laughs> this is where I want to be right at this moment in time. Yeah. This is the lady. So, you're going to start dating. You start taking her places like where, Prestige? Yeah. We start Carago. Yeah? Like where you start Carago. Tell me some places. Uh, in the kitchen? On top of the roof. <laughs> You must have got fix one leak. You must have got fix one leak. All take right. To the beach. You're take taking her places beach. to the take beach. Her to the beach. Yeah. Mystic Mountains. <laughs> Dolphins Cove. Fancy restaurants. To the river. Mm. Just on a, a little trip, picnic. Yes. You know, yeah. sightseeing. Mm. To a party. Whatever. Yeah. Take a Sunday evening drive. Yeah, out. man. Drive out, yeah. you know, and just relax and enjoy some whatever you like you both like to do, you do it. Yeah. And you feel great. Mm. And same, likewise, take out the gentleman. Ladies, yes, you can take out a gentleman too. Mm. If what? he gives you that oomph, you can bring him out now and again too. Yeah, man, you and mean? spend your money. All the time. Real you know talk. Again. All the time. Don't push it. What do you mean? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So. Why would I have that thing like all the time? Oh, like so only men alone. So I, I don't alone believe women. that. I don't believe that. You know I don't believe that yeah. prestige. Why? I don't believe that. I think that women can take out their men. You too. don't think we like when women spend on, on, on us? Yes. Yeah. I make you feel good. Yeah, man. Just give her the money. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> give her the money for spend. You. I'm just Give her the money for spend. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll spend my money on him yeah. if he's a good man. That's what I right. like. Yes. Yeah. So this park starts to, you know? Yeah. Pick up nicely. Yeah. And then. After a couple months, yeah. just die out. It's just like when you throw what, fire, water upon some a fire, it yeah. just go psh, psh, just dead. So, you throw it on the coal, and yeah. Let's just look at smoke, you just start to barely no more yeah. fire, just, just look at smoke. Just a go away, so. yeah. Come on, people, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your spark alive. Oh, yes, man, what you have to do, keep him. Mm. Yeah. And ready all the time. Yeah. Keep uh. her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mrs. Yeah. Gordon Fraser, good yeah. night to you. Yes, keep her ready and, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep geared spark. up. Yeah. Yes, man. Keep the fire blaze. So here are 30 naughty questions for couples to keep the spark alive. Mm. All right? And I'm going to share with you. All right, just before, of course, we're going to start off. So because in another minute or so, we're going to go to the break. But I do have a minute to give you the, 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 the beginning of this. Oh, yeah. Want to understand your partner better than ever? Use these 30 
sexy questions for couples to read your partner's naughty mind and ignite the spark. Because don't pretend, you know. Yes, your partner sometimes has mm -hmm, naughty uh, thoughts in the uh, mind. And once you hear prestige say, oh, you know same man gonna one place, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so a perfect relationship never never stagnates. Can't static and just stay one place. It has to grow. Yeah. It just finds new and new ways to better itself. All right? So if you are in one of those where you call perfect, and of course we don't mean perfect, perfect, but perfect relationships, yeah. guess what? It can't stay one place. You have to find ways and means of making it better yeah, all man. the time. Every time. For most lovers who have been in a relationship for a while, conversations start to die or get repetitive. You're just having the same old, same old conversation all, all the time. time. And it work. just... It just kills you. Yeah. You need to get some spark in there. Yes. And even spending an evening together can start to feel like an effort. Lord Jesus, Lord, me tired. Me, you know, you're putting too much into getting to spend an evening together. So guess what? When we come back from the 11 o'clock break, we share more with you on this article about those naughty questions. All right, Real Talk soon come. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Mm. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Here's your Prince just touched down in the airport. A royal date to everyone. It's Shungi with the voice of DJ Prince, your royalty of music selection, represented for my show, your show, Detour, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight with mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Did you know that dengue, chikungunya, and zika are transmitted by mosquitoes? This is why it is so important to get rid of tires, bottles, and other containers with stagnant water and keep barrels covered. Eliminating stagnant water is everyone's responsibility. Protect yourself and your family. A message from the USAID, PSI Caribbean, CARFA, and the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Are you sick of living in average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to more real talk and we're talking right now about the fact that the reality is the real talk is that sometimes your relationship start or real saucy and nice and hot and somewhere 
too soon, if you ask me. Whether it's months apart or weeks apart, but too soon it gets so static and stagnant. And we're seeing how it is that we could try to rectify that. This could very well save someone's relationship. This could very well spark up one that seems to be going downhill. Right? And it's not no great issue that might have caused it, but just not doing anything exciting. And you got to keep the excitement in your relationship. So all the couples out there, all the, the, the husband and wives, wives listen carefully, husbands listen carefully because it's not a case nowhere. Oh, because you're married, now you get the ring. You can just lay back and become static, oh, stagnant, oh, now nah, move. Yeah. No. So this is for both husbands and wives, male and female, in a relationship whether you're living together or you're not together at the moment in the same space all right but this is for you all right question do you sometimes call your friends over because you think you'd be bored with your own lover and by friend i mean platonic friend or Call another person who you think might be more of a nicer company to keep than your partner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People do it. Well, then you need to make things more exciting. The perfect questions for all couples. Yeah, here it goes. Before we go any further here, you need to ask yourself a question, Prestige. Yeah. What... Hmm. What relationship stage are you in right now? So first of all, you have to ascertain that. Whether you're in the beginner stage, developing, mm, you know, advanced stage, I don't know. What stage are you at? And based on what you're looking for in the relationship too, these questions might be for you or they might not be for you. But see what you can take from it, if anything, all right? Yeah. What relationship stage are you in right now? If you're still less than a few months old, go on and use these 60 get-to-know-you questions to know more about your partner and your new romance. Oh. And if you're past a few months and know each other pretty well, read these 50 relationship questions to test your compatibility. Hmm. But if you're past the stage of wild infatuation and have been dating for a few years, these questions are just for you. The right questions for seasoned relationships. You may think you know everything about your partner once you've been dating for a few years. But almost always what I've seen is that Partners actually believe they know each other, but in reality, prestige. <laughs> in reality, prestige. Why is this happening to my system? Hmm. But, <laughs> give me a second there. <laughs> da -da -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> but in reality, they just don't know their partner. They just assume they do. A perfect relationship is like an onion. Lord Jesus. That not sound so good. Cliche, I know. But no partner will ever reveal themselves completely. And no relationship starts off with pure truth. Right, Prestige? <laughs> he says yes. You know that. A new relationship is always filled with a few white lies and many secrets. But as a relationship starts to grow, both partners start to feel secure with each other and the secrets start to come out in the open. Eh, for some people. But if you don't help your partner feel more secure, you just end up living a lie because there may be many secrets that you still don't know. If you don't know how to get your partner to open up or how you can have the perfect relationship, huh, use these questions to help. Oh, you mean open up? Open up in the relationship? Yes, man. Okay. Open up. Yeah. Talk everything. Oh, oh. Do every... Yeah. Da, da, dee. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so 30 questions for couples to keep the spark alive. Yeah. To truly experience. All right, so this thing keeps coming up. To truly experience the perfect relationship, you need to make each other feel comfortable. And you need to learn to think from your partner's perspective. So the man must think from the woman's perspective sometimes, mm -hmm. and the woman must think from the man's perspective sometimes. Yeah, Real I talk. I don't think we all do that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. We just think that as ladies, oh, we must just think all we think, yeah. and we can't see how the man might be looking at the situation. Yeah. And the men too sometimes, why she just nagging and miserable and this, that, that. But I don't lie. A woman in a star. But I don't lie. Uh, I don't lie. Why? You know, so, so the first time I said when the, woman, the man must... Yeah. You're biased. I mean, my bias. But, but, yeah. it is for both partners to look, in, look at it from through the other person's eyes sometimes for true. That's true. And big ups to Nine, yeah, who drives the water truck. Big up yourself, <laughs> Mr. Nine. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Let me go back to you. you, you sure. Just get me upset a while ago, you know. Prestige. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. True. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we're not miserable sometimes. So, so we're not going to look for nothing. Yeah. You need to learn to think from your partner's perspective. And at times, the best ways to find out your partner's perspective is by asking all the right questions. No, before I go any further, this is not for the faint of art, yeah? Yes. And if you're, if you're thin skin mm. and you can't manage certain answers, don't ask certain questions. And men... If you know she can't handle it, don't give her the, <laughs> the full answer. <laughs> and vice versa, ladies. If you know he can't handle certain things, don't be don't be gap gap gapping too much. Yappy, 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 everything you're talking about. Uh -huh. No. Uh, so be nagging. smart. Nagging. Be smart. All right. So um, here we go. Asking. All, all, the best way to find out about your partners from your partner's perspective is by asking all the right questions. If your partner, if your partner doesn't open up at first, ask your partner to question you first. Hear your answer and then answer. Eh, eh, I don't think so. <laughs> but anyways, use these 30 questions with your partner and you'll definitely help them open up to you just as long as you remember to have a laugh, pull your lover's leg and let them know that you're completely fine with all their answers. Now, for example, you know, this is now uh, off the record. Yeah. Um, well, not from the article. Um, so, Prestige, yeah. you didn't love the girlfriend we didn't have before? You, didn't love, you, you were in love with Sarah? And Prestige say, boy, I'm telling you, see, man, I didn't love that girl, you see. Mm. Then the woman go start vex. Mm. Will you bother ask Prestige if you didn't love Sarah for, mm. if you can't handle the answer? Number one. Number two, Sarah was before you. And maybe we're all guilty of it <laughs> to an extent or something like that. But really and truly, the truth is, Sarah was before you for true. Yes. So if you ask the question and him answer, yeah. Probably Truth I shouldn't beg. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will tell you no lie. And if you know, say. You can't angle it. Why ask it? And if you know, so she can't handle it, yeah. don't answer. Or you answer. Or you mean by tell her the truth? What do you want me to tell her? I don't, don't ask a question there. Don't ask a question. No, don't ask that. Just leave it don't alone. Don't ask me that question. I will yeah, ask a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Right, then she'll get upset. See you here. Yeah, probably she would. Yeah, probably she a lot would. Of things your mind oh now. boy. So, ladies, on a serious note, if you yeah. can't handle certain answers, probably you shouldn't bother ask. Don't ask. But I know we're gonna ask anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah. We are. As always, yeah. dear. And I'm the type of person we will give you the right answer. You go on. So there is no no answers here. Yeah. So you ask your partner. You wanna go down this route with the questions, yeah. these naughty, sexy questions, right? To spark up things. Or two. Yeah. <laughs> Not. Your partner has to say something. So when you ask a question, they have to say something, anything. Yeah. So you can't give a no answer to the questions. But if I'm in a good mood, I'm going to say, I'm missing things I go all right. I'm going to want anything spark up. Yeah. I'm going to answer say, listen, babe, this is not the time for that. Aye. Yeah. This is not but the time. You're going to kill our vibes, maybe. No, no, no. Mister, this is not the time for that. 
You know what I'm saying? So we're going to spark the thing. We're we, we having a good thing going on right now. Oh, you mean, 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 mean missing on her behavior? You yeah. would say that? Or the question part? If she asks me that question, I mean, I we'll say, it is not the appropriate time for she asks okay, me that question. Okay, you're going to... I'm going to tell her, say, this okay. is not the time to ask me a question like that no, babe. Right? Let the thing just go and spark and make it just light. Light. Uh-huh. Light. Hey. And when you light up, you see what I say? But the questions will but help yes, to I light believe. it. Yeah? Here are the questions that will help that... to light it. Listen to the questions first. Go on. Don't shoot it down before you hear it, man. No, I thought you were talking about the girlfriend. No, man, I'm, I'll just, just give an example okay. of what a girl might ask okay. and then get, get upset about it. Okay, go ahead. So going here's the question. Way. Question one. Mm. What's the one secret you've been too embarrassed to tell me? <laughs> oh, that may get rubber. Oh, a secret yeah. that? Yeah. And then why nobody know. Okay. Yeah. All right. The girl picked me. The girl? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Keep, it, keep it secret for you, not tell nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Does it bother you if I look at another person and say, ooh, he's sexy? Would that bother you? No. You and your girl together yeah. and she call our next man sexy and ooh. Yeah. That bother you? No. And everything will go bad at me mm. like that. Well, yes, for me, depends on the, the mood and the setting and everything. Yeah. We not lie. Not tell if me you look at her and yeah. me sit in the eyes saying she's sexy, yeah. me probably just, yeah. hmm, hmm. Yeah. you know. <laughs> but just say, yo, your yeah, man. Yeah. Like if we are talking about the situation, I would say, yeah. boy, yeah. oh, she look good, man, or she's sexy. Yeah. And then he might say, Eh, she's sexy for you. If me me won't really feel no way with yeah. that one. And you know the thing about we discussed the issue. Right. And you know the thing about but, it too? If you mm, are your, 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 your partner have an understanding. And yes. And you know the things that you're not trigger off. Right. Trigger him off. True, true. And he might, you know what I mean? True. Yeah. But some women would, some women would have a fit. Most definitely. Massa. Yeah. And then are, there are, are some who would ask him. Yeah. So wait, yeah. you want, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 and him going to say yes. Yeah. And some women would go ahead with it too. Yes. Yeah. Sad to say. And that would be good with me. You know, I knew you would say that. Oh. <laughs> Number three. Broke. Have you ever snooped yeah. on me behind my back? You ever come watch what me I do? No, me not no time for them things. Eh. Um, walk and spy on me. No, me not have time for them things. Eh. Come peep in the room and see what I do. I in the bathroom, I have my phone, a text. What? Have you ever snooped on me? No, I don't have time back? for them kind of things. Eh. No, time I don't snoop upon you if you're in the bathroom and take a shower. Ooh. Okay, then. Yeah, them kind of <laughs> yeah. things. But you don't have your phone and them things. I don't have time yeah, for them. Yeah, I, I ain't got no time for that either. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. My snooping upon you yeah. would be to give you some trouble. Yeah. Like provoke you or, you know. Yeah. Pull here, pull there, tease you, something. Yeah. But not the watch and peep. So, no, 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 no. Yeah. I ain't got no time for it. I ain't no H. I am M H. I ain't no detective. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was called that, but um. <laughs> no, I, don't, da, I can't be about da, that. Da, 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 da. I was called FBI actually. Are but no, there are certain for... things I would yeah. question. Yeah. And um, I guess that's where the name came from. But like to snoop up and watch and no, I'm in the camera like that. Here it go. Are you looking for a reliable <laughs> investigator? You can call zero 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 two. Question four. If there's one thing you'd want to change about me, what is it? Now that question could be a very touchy one. Right. Because when the man tell you honestly say, boy, baby, yeah. me tell you the truth. You're too miserable. I mean, You're I like too to be miserable. Calm. And loving. Are you not loving? You're not you loving. The Aggish style where yes. you have. <laughs> yeah. You she might me? take offense to the statement, yeah. don't it? Be I tell her just like how it is. <laughs> you know, pick it up and say, baby, you are too rough. You know? When you change up and say, me why you change the Aggish style where you have. <laughs> yeah? And just smooth out the thing. What else would you want to change about her? You get me, right? Eh? What's the major thing you want to change? What? The major, major. thing? Major. More, more, more makes you change. 
when the dance like one, she knows just lie on a bed dead. Okay. Yeah. You have to change that. Oh. You get me? You have to be more active. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I say? Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I hear you, sir. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the next question is. It have to spark up. It have to spark up. All right. Yeah. Interesting enough. Dead, 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 dead. True. True, true, true. If we hadn't met each other, where would you be right now? Talk truth. In a church. Don't tell a lie. <laughs> Donald is still in church, okay, okay. Yeah, church, just like All right, Donald. so if we hadn't met each other, where yeah. would you be? Not Some church. guys might be honest and say, "No, my girl, I'm not run road, you know. I'm not lie, I'm not run road right now." Look at your sister. Jesus, I mean, at least I understand why you're in church. Yeah. Okay. Question six: When was the last time you grazed against a sexy someone's body accidentally? Accidentally, no. I can't tell. Ax- there is a no. There's no no answer. You have yeah. to give an answer. Yeah. When was the last time you grazed against a sexy lady's body accidentally? A lie, me go tell you then. <laughs> you have to tell a lie. But which part is the lie? Not recently, or it was it wasn't accidentally. Not recently. Oh, Cassidy. Yeah. When was the last time you grazed against a sexy sexy lady's body yeah. accidentally? Every evening. <laughs> every evening. Every evening. Every evening. Right. Okay, then. You go exercise. Oh, boy. Can you imagine your girlfriend hearing that? Mm-hmm. When you ask the question and you tell her about every yeah. evening. Lord yeah. of his mercy. Yeah. Um, question. Question. Because he's oh. an instructor. So he yes, he has to assist them. come in touch, yeah. contact yeah. with them, right? Yeah. All right. Um, where am I? I follow him at evening time. Yes. Me, would I give you a perfect answer? Yes, you would have. So <laughs> Question seven. How would you describe love? Let me hear you describe love. Prestige. Oh. How is describe that feeling me. you feel when you feel that feeling when you're inside? Oh. Is that, is that with you? Is that with you? <laughs> Why you stick me up? <laughs> Why you stick oh, me up? Boy. You get me? I don't no. want the phone line ring off, man. Uh, you know? Yeah. So we have to just keep that for the limit. Number eight. Yeah. Tell me five <laughs> instances where you think we've had the most amazing sex. Yeah. When, when? T- tell us when. The f- five. The when five. you were up on the house top. Up on top of the roof, in the elevator. Uh-huh. Driving out on a sunny evening, rain or fall. Come out of the vehicle. Uh-huh. In the rain? In the rain. Is that with you now? Yeah. At a four. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> And um, <laughs> and I'm in the old cellar. Oh Jesus, darling, dog, flee them. Yeah. <laughs> Cassidy, go number four, number five. Yeah, that's the number five. Yeah. <laughs> Cassidy, fears. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Come, Cassidy, number five. In the sea. most amazing memories. In the sea. In the sea. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we go to the beach. Next one. You know what I mean? Yes. We'll go to the beach. We have four more to go. Four more. Yes, Cassidy's five. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Cassidy. Yeah. In the sea. Yeah. In you know, the washroom, the, the <laughs> washing machine. <laughs> Turn on the washing machine. We have three wash. more to go. The wash. <laughs> machine, the wash. You know, the sense of the yeah. prestige. <laughs> yeah. There's three. In you know, the bathroom. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Taking a shower. Two more. You know, we not touch no bed, no. Cause we not bed. <laughs> You say you're keeping it spicy. Yeah. All right. So they're going to tell me those two later on. Yeah. Number nine. Reveal a sex confession you haven't told me yet. It doesn't matter if it's a weak confession. <clears throat> Any confessions? <clears throat> da, 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 Number 10. Da, da, da. What if I told you I was bisexual? Judgment. No, Judgment. No, 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 no. The one that bore me, no, I'm not lie. Yeah. So if your lady comes up to you and said, Oh, prestige, yeah. you know, yeah. I got something to tell you. Yeah. I'm bisexual. What are you going to do? Say, Oh, yes, this is what I want to hear a long time. You would say that? That's not a problem. I <laughs> mean, you don't say that, you know. I, That's Mama Winsome. <laughs> Mama 
I'm in some say in the kitchen are you go a bush. <laughs> In the kitchen, on the stove, and you just turn on the stove and turn it back off. You just turn on the stove and turn it back off. And put that You're in that stove thing again? Yeah. You're in that stove thing again? Why well, you not going to go to sit down first? Eh? <laughs> 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 well, well, on it first. Clearly, Prestige wants eh? to spark up things with you. Yeah, Ignite a flame. Yeah. Ignite some heat in yeah. that relationship, I tell you, boy. Just turn on the stove. Too much I heat. I think that's too up. much heat, don't you think? Yeah, spark no, up something. Number, the bisexual one, though, yeah. I, I don't know. Because if a woman told a man that, yeah. then I, I think he would be, well, I just win the jackpot. Yeah. But if a man da, told... Prestige, <laughs> if Danny Rude were in that chair tonight, he would flip. Da, da, da. He would be... No yeah. man, Cleo. No nah, man. Nah, Brr. 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 Oh boy, number eleven. Yeah. What would you think <laughs> if you caught me watching porn? Would you get turned on? Oh yes. Is that with you now? You know. Is that with oh, your prestige? Yes. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh boy. Yeah. Number twelve. And remember, these are and questions. Um, that could for yeah. some people or uh, could be a turn off for others. Yeah. Number 13, the average duration of sex for most couples is around 10 minutes. How long do you think we last? Hmm. Hmm. 10 the, minutes. We don't want the phone ring off. The, phone, no, the, 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 the lines are open, off. guys. You yeah. can feel free to, to share Eight, your... 876 <laughs> Or nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. Indeed. Yeah. All right. So number number fourteen. The average frequency of sex for couples is about eight times a month. Eight times a month. How many times a month do you feel is ideal? Yes, Cassidy. Thirty times per month. That's one every day. That not so bad. Yes, you say yes. Really? <laughs> Where to come from? That not so bad. Yeah. You agree? That's so bad. Do you think this lady's a what? But you know, eh? you know, can go on that time. She said eight times a month. Yeah, you know, can go on that time. Which which because which world, world is she living say, in? Yeah, a pause. I got there in there so. A little pause. I got there in there so. But that won't affect the the. You know, it will yeah. be thirty. Yeah. But let us say yeah. twenty. Unless we're going to double up on one day, pass up on the day. Exactly. Then, week. Why not? Yeah. Because we don't have a week for ourselves. <laughs> <Correct. laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So many people will have different. Yeah. Mama wins some set twice every week. Oh, what do you say? Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> or, uh, we want to hear from our listeners. I don't know where they are, you know. Yeah. They're listening and smiling, Yeah. Please feel free to call and share mm. as we go through these questions you're going to ask your spouse. Mm. All right? Um, 60 times a month, no bad. 60? Yeah. Judgment. Two okay. times a day. Oh, Lord. One morning, one night. night. Mama Winston would we disagree with you. Eh? Mama Winston oh, would surely all. disagree with you, I'm sure. Eh? Um, let's look at the <coughs> others. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Number eight. Teen, rather. Tell me a sexual fantasy you like. And you haven't told me yet. Mm. Da, da, that's mm. another Dada D question. Eh? Yeah. I think I, think I left out. Year. Oh, did I reach 18? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we'll, I left out 15. probably. I, I left out probably three. 15 says, What's of all the things you do to me sexually, yeah. what do you think turns me on the most? Wives, ask your husbands, yeah. your husband these things. Husbands, men, ask your ladies, your wives these things. Of all the things you do, yeah. what do you think? And if he gives the wrong answer, then you can say, no, honey, yeah. it's not that. It's when you do that. Yeah. Right? Me don't, me don't, me don't really want to ask them things. <clears throat> Why not? Me? No, me don't want to ask. I know them things. Eh, and then me just jump then, in on them things. No, no, them no, things, no, no. Eh. Me like you just gradually. do them things. Eh. Me like you just do them things, eh, right? I mean, know within Mama myself. Mama Winsome have killed me tonight with it. Oh, yeah. my goodness. You know? Mama Winsome have killed me tonight. 
Ay, I can't read it. <laughs> I hope you can't read it. What have I sparked? What fire have I blazed up with wind some tonight? What <laughs> fire? A big one, I'm sure. Yeah, read it. Read oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I can't read it on air. Why? When you nibble. No, I'm nibble. You, you can't say that. No. Yes. You can. When you nibble. Okay. They, they'll read through the, through the lines there. Question 16. What's the most erotic thing a guy or girl <coughs> can do Sorry. together? Sorry. Each, this is for each. Each each is all no, you know. Yeah. What's the most erotic thing a guy and a girl can do together? Mm. 17 says, what's the most recent awkward moment you experienced that I don't know about? Your most recent awkward moment? Mm. Mm. Depends. Mm. Guys, it's 11.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Nassal are the, is the sponsor of Real Talk. We soon come back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893 Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital take our brain. Uh-huh. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, we're looking at those 30 questions that, you know, you can use to ask your spouse, providing they can manage the answers, yeah? You can ask your spouse the questions to help spruce up, you know, or boost the excitement in your relationship. You don't have to ask them all one night. You can do this different, different times, different, different places, set the mood, start, spark a fire. And of course, um, use that to climax uh, your evening. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we were at question 17. What's the most awkward moment you experienced that I don't know about? And some people will find it funny to share that story depending on what it is. Yeah. You know, and they can have a laugh, have a nice little relaxing moment together. So it's not only going to, it doesn't have to always only lead to sex. Mm-mm. You know, or or or, any form of ple- or that kind of pleasure, yeah. but it can also lead to you having moments where you laugh together. Yeah. You know, you have interesting, exciting conversations and discuss stories that, <coughs> sorry, probably you never shared with the person before, and that question can just spark a spark some um, reflection, and you share the story, and it's funny, or it's meaningful, or whatever. You know, all right, number eighteen. Tell me a f- sexual fantasy you like, one you haven't t- told me yet. Interesting. A sexual fantasy that you like, that you haven't told me yet. Do you think you can read my mind? That's number 19. What am I thinking right now? So if your girlfriend asked you that, Cassidy, what would you tell her? Can you read my mind? What am I thinking? Right? What would you tell her? Mm. <laughs> Prestige. If your lady asked you that, what would you yeah. tell her? I would say, yes, baby, I can read your mind. You want to have a groove on. Aye. Aye. Let's get it on. Oh. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> prestige and even if that wasn't on her mind because prestige wants to get it, get it on i'm going to tell her say oh you're gonna get want to get your groove on yeah. so right away even if she never want to groove on and she says boy that yeah. prestige i think wow. she start thinking it right away yeah, so it sets it sets a mood right question 20 have you ever indulged in a PDA with me in front of someone else just to make them jealous? Public display of affection. So you're with your lady, you know, prestige. Yeah. And you know, say, boy, well, Cassidy did like him after a long time. Or him, you, you hear something about like him, the one looked the way that one at a time before and really get in. And no, you really are the one with Avar. And prestige never, um, Cassidy didn't get the chance. Mm-hmm. So you're out with the lady, man, and she's looking dapperly fine. Yeah. She's hot and sexy and stunning. Yes. And you just start holding her around her, re- yeah. put her in her back pocket, yeah. and hold her kind of on the lower hip. Yeah. You know, some go crazy something in the, in the public, or just nib, start nibbling her hair yeah. just for him to see. Because you know what I'm going to see? Yeah. And you want him to feel jealous. Yeah. You do something, 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 something. Mm. You know, I try to play around with her little chin and her face. I'm and a kind of one Donald Trump stunt. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh no! That one went stay out of the picture altogether. No but trumping. You can't trump her at I'm all. You can't trump her. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So, twenty. Have you ever done anything in public in front of someone else just to make them jealous? And you might find that some women, women yeah. will tell you exactly, say, yes. Yeah. When they want me to see your ex, you never see her, but me see her. Yeah. And she'll look on the two away. And of course, she's going to probably tell him, tell him what she did. They just yeah. argue upon us, I'll probably I'll kiss, kiss him. him. 
and I'm going yeah. to squeeze him tight yeah. or do something sexy, not too outrageous. Yeah. But she did, she might, might admit that she did something just to make the other girls feel jealous. Yeah. Yeah. Women tend to be like that. Most yeah? time I just hug and kiss. And men probably will do it too. Yeah. All right, 21. What's one manipulative behavior of mine which pisses you off? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, you ask her the question, she should be honest enough to tell you yeah. what it is that you do that tick her off, and vice versa. And when they tell you, don't use it as a means of spoiling the evening. Use it as a, use it as a medium um, through which you can now try to fix that, mm -hmm. you know, or make some adjustment. Real talk. So, listening to each other is very, listening to each other is very important. Yeah. Listening to the voices, whether the... <coughs> verbal verbally or whether written or textually listen to the voices they are very important all right when your partner has something, something to say you ought to listen even if you disagree listen all right <clears throat> 22 if you had to give me a funny nickname based on my personality or some part of me what would it be Sexy boo. Sexy boo. Yeah. That's like our top sexy. What other name would it be? Hmm? Puffy. What other name? Yeah, Puffy. Or Buffy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> if you had to give me a yeah. nickname Skinny. based on my personality. Skinny. Skinny? Yeah, because you're slim. Oh, you thought me? Not you. Oh. Yeah. Come wish me this still yeah, slim. Huh? All right, so if your partner asks yeah. you, no, ladies, Jesus, um, I can't say fluffy, fluffy, I, fluffy, yeah, fluffy. No, ladies, if your partner asks you this question mm. and you know that the gentleman's member is not so pronounced, mm. <laughs> don't go say banana, yeah, you know it's not the truth, yeah, but there's a banana, but there's a banana. Yeah. Well, that's again one next something now. Yeah, they have some plant. big banana and they have some little banana. That was a plant. Then maybe yeah, well, it, based on a member, if you know that his part is not yeah. the 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 biggest, yeah. give him a different name. Because if you know he has nice muscles, yeah. give him a name based on his muscles. Yeah. Right? So you call him Strongman. As a nickname, you know, I'm not saying you're going to call him that all the time. Based on the question he asked, mm -hmm. what nickname would you give him based on some his personality or some part of his body? Mm -hmm. Don't look at the smallest part, people, mm -hmm. and tell him, oh, tiny, mm -hmm. wingy. Don't do that. You're going to hurt the man's ego. Mm -hmm. Find the other big part of him <clears throat> and name him after that. So, strong man, muscle man. Then I'll say, chum chukums, chukums, okay, sweet chukums, okay. Hi, Dana, you're too hot for your chukums. <laughs> All right. Oh, what about personality? Sweet pea, only too, only too cliche. Mm -hmm. Jumbo, win some, win some <laughs> in the name of. <laughs> Donald, please pray for Winston for me now, please, right now. <laughs> Jumbo, I like that name. Jumbo, oh gosh. <laughs> what about sausage? Sausage? Which what? one? The Venus sausage gem? No, the Frankfurt. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a talk. <laughs> Sausage is small. Sausage yeah. is not going to work then. All right. Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. Franks. Franks. Yeah. Why are we sticking to only one member? Yeah. What about personality? Let me switch, yeah. to, let me switch to personality. Because yeah. my Winsome's jumbo just hit me a while ago, like, psh, in the face. Yeah? Um, but based on, a, based on a woman's personality or a man's or your, yeah. your, 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 your partner's, yeah. your male partner's well, personality. That's kind of miserable. <clears throat> No, that not going so nice. <laughs> no. You can't say that. You can't say that. Funny. Yeah. Praying with all my heart. <laughs> Laugh, oh Lord. <laughs> yes, Donald, I've been told. 
He says you have an infectious laugh. <laughs> oh, boy. But the jumbo hit me for true, me not lie. Yeah. Mama Winsome's jumbo. Yeah. So he said, hey, jumbo. Now, when the man hear jumbo, you know, I'm going to feel nice, you know. Yeah, yeah. And probably I just want to come to us. Give you some of the jumbo right there and then, you know Just what I'm like saying? That. Just, Just like that. that. Yeah. So you, these little things, yeah. you know, spice up things, man. But we touch. I want to hear what Donald's name for her would be, though. What would your? Oh, he said chum, ch- 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 chums. Yeah, but but by the personality side. Ch- chum. Yeah. Personality um, side. Personality side. Yeah. Um. Ca- funny. Funny. Miserable. Me call you him. can't call him funny. Me call oh, him funny. No. Come here, miserable. Sweet P. Sweet P. Um, Mr. Perfect. Oh, that is that is. Yes. So perfect for me. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Ben, no good for you. No. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> that time is just teasing him. Yes, love Mama, it. with I, some. I high. love it. I love it, Dobby. Tease him, yes. Love it, Dobby. Love it, Dobby. Yeah. Precious. No, that's yeah. not one female. Yeah. Hey, precious. Yeah. Uh, macho. Yeah. Oh, hey, they call me. Hey, macho, baby. Yeah. Macho. Hmm. Hey, all the teasing scan going on is in the mama wins them. I tell you, you know, when you don't tease him, I'm sorry for you and Jumbo. All right, so let me see <laughs> what my other questions are. Hmm. And the nicknames, you can go on and think about some more, yeah? 23, right now, what would you like? Mind-blowing encounter? Mind-blowing dancing? Or a cuddle in a hammock to watch the stars? Mind-blowing dancing. Yes. So you prefer? Yes. We know you're not, we know you're not opposed to that one. Then which we can look at the stars after the mind-blowing dancing. Yes. And fall asleep in the hammock. Oh, my God. That is so romantic. Oh, my God. And for those who have space in the backyard for a yeah. hammock, yeah. put up one. Yeah. Yeah. Go make one. That's your project to work on together. What about those people who afraid of lizard? No, we're about no lizard. Yeah. The when man will be... Are, when all them things are the man going, will be remember. safeguarding you from the lizard. He'll be up when there. When all them things are going, you don't even remember about <coughs> lizard. He'll, exactly. He'll be yeah. up there and she'll be down there. So yeah. the lizard will fall on him. Oh. Yeah. So why it always have to be like that? The man have to be on top. <laughs> I didn't say that. You just say my up there. Why? <laughs> why? For the lizard to fall on him. Yeah. All right. Number twenty. <laughs> oh boy, this. You don't always put me in the arms, way, man. Oh boy. Twenty-four. <laughs> if we were at a nude beach together, like in Edenism, yes. yeah. W- would you get naked and flash at someone, or would you want me to get completely naked? What do you mean, flash at someone? Flash. Show. Flash show. Show Jumbo. Go so with Jumbo. The young lady, you mean? <laughs> Go so with Jumbo. I flash at the next young lady. Lady Grace is not to mention Mosquito. Oh, no, Lady Grace. Not do yeah. that. You yeah. can't call him Mosquito. No, I know that. Not to mention mask it and bite it for your bottom in the amok. Oh! Crazy! Yeah! Me go the pan top and take my mind was somewhere else a while ago, honey. And that's a young pan top. Oh boy! The young lady got the pan top. Sometime man friend a lizard too. That's true in some. That's true. Yeah. Um. But the young lady pan So if you were at a nude beach, would you get naked? By the way, if you were on a nude nude beach, would you? Would you want to even go to a nude beach to begin with? Yeah. Would if, you want to go to a nude if beach? Everybody out there nude. You're going to nude too? Then there's something that we do already all the time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So would you would you wave jumbo at a lady? Yeah. Or would you want the girl to get naked? So whoever passing can just see fluffy and look and whatever. Would Both you? of us naked. Because oh. one person can't make it for the nude beach. Why make? They don't allow that. You can't make a bad suit? No. Nude beach and nude beach. Oh, sorry, sir. Can you take off your clothes from inside? Oh, I'm going to walk. Oh, my towel. gosh. It's like being in the garden of yeah. Eden. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Thanks, Prestige. <laughs> Grace is thanking you for clarifying for her. <laughs> Forgive me, Gracie. Forgive me. Capital, no. Okay, I'm not sure what Winston is saying no to. Yeah. All right. Um, What's that about the nude beach? The nude beach. Mm. I'm a Winston. You don't want him to flash Jumbo? Yeah. So would you want to be on the nude beach, Mama Winston? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting question. She not have to flash. You'd be surprised she to know. She sure. Okay, well, still Boy. flashing. Still she flashing. Super flash, okay, she two um, there. If you, number 25 says, have you ever wanted to buy a sex toy but hesitated? Gentlemen, be honest. Da, 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 have you ever thought of buying one of those blow up dollies? Eh. So why, she, she, why, lady ask you that question, would be, you? Why it have to be that? Why you do what? I can't buy a sex <laughs> toy for the young lady, you know. It would have to be a blow up dolly. No, she's asking if you ever wanted to buy a sex toy for yourself. She's for talking, myself? yes. No. Why not? Me have one for myself. Me don't need no Some sex of them toy. want more. Yeah, more like what? Let me not get that. If, if, if she want me to get more, we get the next woman. Oh, Jesus. Lady Grace says, Prestige, you know, you visit the nude beach. Yes, Grace, he said he did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, 26. Celebs or friends? I thought Name... that was something, something bad. No, yeah. not at all. I don't think she thinks that. You don't do the same thing. Me? Yeah. No, sir. You know that brave? Probably not night. You know what? When it plays dark. <laughs> you know that night. Bro. Why are you that night? Celebs or friends. Nobody know their face. That's the whole point. Yeah. Celebs or friends. No one person you... Name, sorry. Yeah. One person you would want to be with if you were single, other than me, of course. Yeah. Celebrity or a friend. Is there anybody you think that you'd want to ooh, have an engagement and encounter with except for she? Yeah. Ooh. Which, a, is it a celebrity or just an ordinary friend with celebrity. a celebrity? A friend of who's that? Yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um. Hey. Say, I know. Uh-huh. Um, Julia Roberts. Aye. Is that Julia Roberts guy this you know? Oh yeah. boy. Well, for me. Yeah. Ooh. E, e, Ibris. Yeah, Alba, Denzel. is it Alba the name is? That black guy there. Ooh, yeah. that comes in some of these movies. That's Denzel, really... Denzel get all up now. Yeah, Denzel kind of <laughs> shaky. Yeah, uh, yeah a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Shamar Moore kind of gone Shama, too. Yeah. Shamar Moore. Yeah. And Morris Chestnut. Yeah. Ooh, la la. Blair Underwood kind of get all up too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, some of those names there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, may I go with part of the money. Oh, the there. rock. May I go with the money. The there. rock should have a jumbo something there. Going. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he does. Yeah. Pretty woman every time. Julia Roberts, I tell you, boy. Yeah. All right, Donald, I hear you. Yeah, may I go with the money there? Say, so okay. can't squeeze Oh, nothing. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Let me put it in my work. Number 20, <laughs> 27. If I called you a horny pervert, yeah. how would you confront my accusation? Now, call me no pervert. Call me no pervert. When you like number 27, not tell me, not ask him that. <laughs> 28. Why do you think some couples end up cheating on each other? Da da dee. Sometimes they dance, you know, not no right. Mm. You dance, know what I mean? Dance, lock up, dance, dead. Sparky, sparky, not play the right song, them at yeah. all. You know what I mean, I say? Mm. You don't see it. I wow. didn't look away there, you know? So, when you ask that question, ensure that you do the things that will not allow him to want to or cause him to want to, yeah. despite he or she might still do it, but at least you have an idea as to what you can do yeah. to prevent. Yeah. Then I said, lack of dancing. Yeah. That's true, Donal. That happened for true. 29. How could we make our sex life more exciting? Oh, I'm telling <laughs> uh, you. And the list for that question would be yeah. endless. Yeah. And 30 says, if you caught me in a room with an attractive person and I tell you that nothing's going on, would you believe me? Why they had to put that question for the last question? Eh? Why they never put 30 at 29 
and 29 at 30. Let me turn it around. 29 was, if you caught me in a room with an attractive woman and I tell you that nothing is going on, would you believe me? No. Prestige. Yes. If I caught you in a room. Yes. It's another woman. Yeah. It depends on how I caught you. Mm. Because if I caught you with no, your pants. Shirt. No, my shirt off. Just your shirt. shirt off. Yeah, my pants off. A problem. Are. My pants on, my shirt off. A problem, because as far as I'm concerned, you are busy yeah. with your upper body part. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to shirt mess up. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Lord. And if I caught you yeah. with your pants yeah. off. Yeah. Judgment again, they saw. Because whatever you're going to do, the lower body part. So, yeah, your first one was work, you were you were working with your upper head, mm. and the lower, second one would have been the lower head. So, if I caught you with the pants off, you know, problem too. Mm. Because as far as I'm concerned, something did have gone or about to go on. Mm. And I want to tell you something. Just probably catching you in the room alone and go kill me because. Now you're gonna start imagining so, all so kinds of exactly that all in what position too? Very important. Yeah. Very important because if she's up there and you are down no, there. So put your cart me in the room. Put it like this. We're not going to the partner because we know pipe blank say it's mm. a wrong panel every day. If you see me in my, without my pants on. So. But so put your cart me in the room with my shirt on, my pants on, and I sit on the bed. And she sit on the bed, having a close area. You can't tell me nothing. Eh? You can't tell me nothing, boss man. Mm -mm. You can't tell me nothing. What? Go on already. I, I, as, as far as my concern, yeah. something go on already. Me, me, me close gone back on. I'm telling you, not, not close gone on, on back. You're not going to believe me. Oh. Yeah. No, sir. Your corners with a dark. <laughs> That's right, Winsome. She put it perfectly. Your corners with a dark. With you. Choo choo. And then I'll rightly ask, in what position yeah, sit on the if bed. I were to. I may have my clothes on, she have my clothes on. The tempo no clothes on yeah. or whatever. Clothes could have hand half or come off or put on back. Yeah. The fact that you're in the room with her and you're on bed and she on bed, you can't tell me anything. I'm sorry. It depends on the, the, the young lady. Depends on, depends on the young lady. A little bit of extent, not yeah. much. Suppose I'm your sister in there and we're still going to talk. A different story, that man. Eh? Different something so that. You can't go out with your sister. I didn't expect that. Why? That different. We're not talking about no sister, not. We're talking about young lady who look attractive the, and look sexy sister, and round your up. Your sister look attractive uh, uh, and, and look fluffy. Nice, and your sister are pre me too, and you don't know. It's a whole different topic. Yeah. When some said, <laughs> trust no shadow after dark. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? So our twenty, our thirtieth question is: How would you? How could we make our sex life more exciting? That's the question to end on. Because with that, no, you get a chance. The man a chance to speak up what he wants to yeah. say to you. Long time. So be open to hear the answers and internalize them and say, oh. So at this, I'm not like, all right, I'm going to stop to that. And you give her a chance to speak up so you can learn from her too, to see how oh, you can really make this thing a spicier. Yeah. Of course, this is all if you both decide that this is where you want to be. Yeah. And you're going to work on this thing. Yeah. If it's a case where you're just in it for a moment, a short-term thing, yeah. and you both agree or you, she knows that this is just a short-term look of fling or an undecided thing, then all of these questions probably would not go for you. Put it for a long-term thing. All right? Thing. Yeah, long-term thing. Yeah. These 30 questions for couples may yeah. seem funny. Yeah. Or even a bit of a tease. But each of these questions will reveal a trait about your partner. It may be about their sexual interests or their views about cheating or insecurity. Or many... <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, or many other things that matter in a relationship. And a few other questions can help both of you understand each other's expectations in the relationship. Try to have a light-hearted conversation and ask each other these questions. And don't take offense no matter what. At the end of the day, your partner is opening up to you only because they feel secure. By getting angry or annoyed at any point, you're only going to make your partner hide 
deeper in their emotional shell. Again, if you open up and give the person the chance to open up, you'll be able to learn so much more about your partner that will help you in the long run to have a much, much, much better relationship. All right, guys. Lady Grace says, we came across a couple in 19... Let me see that one, Cassidy, please, quickly. We came across a couple in 1982 at Mount Royal. She in her birthday suit and him completely dressed. Oh, yeah, sir. I'll tell you all the story one day. I look forward to hearing that story, Lady Gracie. Who is on the WhatsApp? Do we have anybody on the Facebook Live? We want to shout out to quickly. Um, let's see who else is um, sending. All right. Um, Facebook Live, we have Winston Dixon. <laughs> Kem over magnificent. Good night to you guys. Delroy Willis locked in as well. Patrick A. Wright. Hey, you. Winsome Smith. Blessed love, my god daughter. All right. So she was on FB as well. Big ups to all our Facebook Live peeps. We love you guys. Lisa um, Rule. All right. Um, who else do we have there on the WhatsApp? Quickly, quickly. We don't want to leave anybody too tough tonight. Good night um, to you, Winsome. Winsome, Donald, and Lady Gracie. Oh, my goodness. We're so vocal tonight with the WhatsApp texting and everyone else. Annette, Melissa, Kimoy, um, King Mitchell, Marcia, and everybody else who were locked in, those who called in, Dan, Dan, and Marvin, and the whole crew. Donald, big up yourself. Every time, every time, every time. Xavier in the UK, good morning to you too. It's about 6 o'clock there right now, yeah? Or there about 6 o'clock, I think, or 7, somewhere there. All right. Um, Mama Winsome locked in, leaving us a last text there. All right, guys, you know, we've come to the end of the show, right? And, of course, time flies when you're having all the fun in the world, yeah? But we want to thank you all so very much for taking the time out to be with us tonight. We would not have been able to do this had it not been for you guys keeping our company, enjoying the show as much as, as we enjoyed being with you and working for you. Thanks to you guys, too. Mama Winsome and the whole crew, those who just listened in and those who text in and those who called, we thank you so much. You guys were all 